Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Club Tweed for the final of the men's singles. And what a great game we've got lined up here this afternoon. If it's any near as good as the ladies' semi final, you viewers are in for a treat. And in co commentary with me this afternoon is one of Queensland's finest, in Mr. Jimmy C. Morning, afternoon. Um, made it to afternoon, haven't you, I? You have made it to afternoon now, mate. I'm that's very really, impressed by that. That's really good. Uh, bit mate. of a struggle. <laughs> what a great game we've got lined up here this afternoon, um, Jim. You uh, Yeah, there's a lot of people have been tipping Leroy from the start of the show. Yep. Like for the last three or four days, Greg Carl was tipping him and he had to get back to Bagara. Uh, and he's fought his way through after losing two of his first three, I think. Yep. Uh, he has lost one since and snuck through and now he takes on Sheriff, I mean to say. Well, last year's winner of fed- this event and last year's winner of every event. <laughs> Very close to it, Jim, as I must uh, I must agree with that comment and uh, absolutely in fine form to make another final. And, of course, um, the ladies' final. What a cracker. Christina. Well, she's been on fire. Absolutely playing unbelievable bowls and uh, playing Lindsay. Like, what a game that's going to be... Uh, Lindsay got out of jail there in that last game against uh, Dawn. Yes. But, uh, mate, what an absolute um, treat this is going to be, though, for a... Uh there was a lot of people clapping the last bowl of Dawn's, and yep. she was so unlucky. It went it went yep. half an inch different, and she wins the game. Instead, yep. she went from one down to three down three and down. came off. Okay. We'll just see what's going on here. They're introducing the players. We've got Lee out on the thing, the boss of the show, and Turles. I don't guess you guys can't hear all that, but you can see them out there introducing the four finalists. And they're presenting the equal thirds. Where... Natasha getting her equal third money, which I think was about two grand. After winning six game, five games. After winning first five games, five out of five, she was rolled this morning by Christina. I was thinking there was only one KK came from this area of the world in Kelvin Kirko, but. Uh, we have another KK on the on the board now. And the men equal thirds are coming out. Gary Kelly. He's played Omar twice in this event. 25-23 and 25-21. Both times to Sheriff. And 25-23 in the final of this event last year. So there's uh, not really a split inch between Sheriff and Kelly. It's just that Sheriff won the last three all by last end. Nice bit of presentation. I guess you guys can't hear that. I can hear it through the background here. Kerry Green's on board. Andrew Hinch, South Africa. And Josh Beatty, Keith Miller. We have quite a, basically a split argument on who's going to win this men's game. Sheriff has been unbeatable for two years. And Lee Schreiner has come here with uh, something to prove. And he's been proving it game by game, getting better and better. And look at that. We've got Neville Jenkins wandering down the green there. Very well credentialed Neville Jenkins. Ex state player, present over 60s player, and ex state selector. 
See, nobody crawls to ex-state selectors. It's only the state selectors that they crawl to. And away we go. We're going to have trial ends. We're not away we go. We're having trial ends or Neville's in trouble for picking that one up. Fraser Maguire, WA. Great to have <laughs> Lance Main. He's as dry as grain toast with no butter. I guess that's a compliment. Can't quite see the other line up. It's unless I angle it round a bit. Catherine Haltone, Michael Sweeney, John Lindsay. Plenty of people getting on board. And we're only in the roll up. So I guess we have, we call Sheriff a local these days, even though Turl's put New South Wales beside his name in the program. Supposedly some sort of a joke at the time, but uh, we count him as a Queenslander these days. John Norris says, Sheriff and Schreiner won the New South Wales pennant together this year for Raymond Terrace. <laughs> Indeed they did. Well, I suppose it was well documented that uh, Leroy's only played in this event once. I think it was about 92 where he was runner-up. Runner-up to Steve Glasson, if I could remember. But uh, there's a lot of people wanting to back Leroy in this game. And hard to remember the last time Sheriff lost a game of singles. He lost the final of the champion of champions up in Mackay last November. He was a finalist there. Glenn Pitts rolled him, that event. And oh, I can't, what, a, what a game that was, Jimmy. I can't remember him losing another final in singles. <laughs> I can remember the cracker that he played Kelly in the last, in the final last end here. He had to draw four shots to the tee. Yep. Within nine inches. Kelly took him out three times and he, <laughs> he did it the he last it. <laughs> he drew it the last time too. In 23-24 he's two down and got yep. a draw within nine inches and he drew it yep. four times. Yeah, well there you go. Yep, Robbie's gonna show you that shot, Jimmy. You're gonna show it. You're gonna show it there. Yeah, what oh. a what a colossal game here. That, that's pretty interesting that uh, the master of uh, Robbie Allen can go and yeah, he's got to go back 12 months and show the last bowl of the how to win a how to win a nugget final. Yep, he's that got was it there somewhere. He's looking for it, mate. So that was an end to remember for sure. Yeah, no, I remember. I do recall that too, Jim. And it was, uh, yeah, Aaron at his best. Like last year, he was uh, just about unbeatable, mate. In my opinion. And uh, tell you what, this bloke here has been playing some fantastic bowls. Lee Rayner has really been. Uh, he's excelled. Really showing uh, what type of. Uh, Arsenal, he's got in his in his weaponry also too, Jim. Well, he's got c competitor in capital letters written after his name for the last 20 years. He is. <laughs> True too. So. Anybody goes out and beats Leroy, has have to do something right. Yes. And uh, we guess we're going to figure out what length we're going to play in this game. Yep. I'll be surprised if... Omar doesn't throw every end ditch to ditch, which is his weapon. Yeah, great. And for that reason, I would think that Leroy's going to throw anything but ditch to ditch. ditch. <laughs> Here it comes, the shot yep. of last year. One of Gary Kelly's right first up. One of Gary Kelly. Yep, this is it. You can get that one onto the jack. Onto the jack. Wow, got, got them got both. both. Got them both. Wow. Unbelievable. And that's I don't game. Think that's what he game hold. Sheriff has to walk down the green and draw it back. After he had drawn three to that spot. Yep. It was pretty easy for <laughs> Kelly after he'd hit, the, hit two out. He had to hit the same position. Yep. No, it should be a colossal game, this is. Here we and go. here it is. There we go. That's it. Into that rough patch, too. Yep. 
Now that was an incredible bowl it's by It's a nice Aris. rough patch. You can see there's a bit of lack mm -hmm. of grass around the kitty and between the kitty and that bowl. Well, one of the problems that they have here is not uh, is uh, coal um, has the building. The building and the sun shines off the um, off the glass upstairs and comes down onto the green. And uh, I've been in this situation myself in clubs and that I've worked at um, Jim, and it's very frustrating that. Um, Various times when the sun gets down low, it hits the building in different directions. And summertime, you don't have much of a problem. But in wintertime, as the sun gets lower, it actually comes off the window and comes down and actually scalds and burns, basically burns the grass, you could say. So uh, he's done a... Um OK, I always fancy that the rough patches in the six-foot line was because of the shading in winter. Ah, uh, mate, mainly to do with uh, the sun coming off the, uh, the glass, mate. Well, there you go. There you go. I can assure you of that. That's from a specialised greenkeeper. No, I wouldn't say that, mate. It's come from a greenkeeper that knew nothing if you talked to bowlers, eh? <laughs> I don't no, know. No I don't greenkeeper <laughs> knows anything. I, I don't know why I went to the ride school of horticulture. <laughs> All I had to do was join a bowls club, mate. I would have been a far better greenkeeper than I'd ever thought I was. Yeah, you <laughs> always have a couple of people to yes. tell you what to do. Yeah, it's uh, Goose. G'day, Les. How are you? G'day, all our viewers. G'day, Ryan and Raymond and uh, Mel Robbo. How are you, Mel? Hope you're keeping well. And uh, Ben Rothwell. And say hi to all our viewers. It should be a cracking game. I think we've got two great competitors. You've got a beautiful uh, running green. It's um, well, the temperature at Tweed Heads at the moment. Where we are, it says it's 29.1 degrees, but I'm about to go get my jacket pretty soon, so I don't take any. It's 21 degrees here at uh, Tweed Heads. It's, it says uh, 29.1 there. Yeah, well, that's here. That's where we're sitting, behind this plastic. I always thought that thermometer thing there was on top of a stove. <laughs> it was freezing cold. It was freezing cold, one of the places, and it had 30 on there. Yeah, oh, mate, we do that repeat. I think, I, think, uh, I think Robbie cooks it every morning, mate, in my opinion. <laughs> It's uh, the winds are south easterly at 15 to 25 kilometres, becoming light in the evening. It's so blowing it's pretty hard out there. Yep. So it should be one heck of a game. I reckon that uh, I'm not going to predict the score. I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. And if it's anything like the women's semi-final, we're in for a crack of a game. So Aaron got control of the mat, and as you said, exactly what you said, Jimmy's got the kitty back on the uh, on the tee. And he's thrown... No, he's thrown it a metre short. Uh, it's still a good three-quarter length, this one, mate. So. Well, well, it's a yard off ditch to ditch. <laughs> That's one thing I like about Aaron, too, is he lets the ball go before the marker even puts the kitty on the line. Yep. So he's got a fair idea where it is, apparently. We've got a lot of people on board here. Jim Howie, Michael Harris, Rick McClellan, Dave Spies, Isabel Dawson, Dave McCann, Dave... Adamson and Isabel Dawson, and none of them are saying really bad things about anybody yet. Oh, give them time. Players know more than greenkeepers. Everybody knows that. Well, everybody well. knows that. Now, Omar's somewhere near it. Let's get back to the bowls. Uh, Omar, great starter, toucher. Didn't stick with it, though. Leroy, a little bit underdone grass-wise on this one by the looks of it, uh, Jim. Mm. Holding very, very well at this stage, though. Jack High, probably. Yeah, weight very well controlled there. have to figure out where the uh, grass line is on this rink where I was commentating on the other side of the green Yep. Uh, two days ago. It was very easy to pick the bowls. You could pick them at halfway. Now, and then the one game we had the blue bowls and the blue and blue bowls. Oh, yes, that's correct, yes. yes. That, was, that was almost intimidating because <laughs> I've given Neville Jenkins a fair rub of calling one wrong on the first end <laughs> because the... The blue and blue bowl was sitting down that he couldn't see the second blue second part. Second blue part, mate, eh? He called two instead of three, and <laughs> he hasn't lived it down. I've reminded him every it's time I've seen, seen him, him for two days. As I'd anticipate you to do, Jim. There's a, a pretty good correction here by Leroy. He just about got to the inside of that bowl. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Something he could just sit on to pop yep. that yellow bowl out. Vince Calabresi, Russell Bramage, I can't quite see your screen. Yes, Jesse Turnbull, just saying, it's going to be an interesting tempo, really. Going to be an interesting final. Omar, tempo player, Leroy, much slower, and can't see that. We call it deliberate. Yep. He's not slow. 
he's just slower than Omar. Omar and Bester can play singles game in half an hour. <laughs> oh, I reckon they probably could too, mate. Except for they only get one shot most ends. They got a unless Ryan decides to kill the end. <laughs> the uh, the marker has to get up there really quick, spotting the yeah. kitty, stopping. Mm, oh, pretty close. Still favour Omar for one. Uh, I can see it now. Metaphorical, yes, ever so true, Jesse. I think you're spot on with that comment, mate. Tommy Cummins of all people, the oh. great Tommy Cummins. Yeah, on your Tommy. And Mad Dog, <laughs> Mad Dog Douglas. Here we go. Mm, um, we're saying two, are we? Saying two, but I'm telling you right now, that's really open for a bit of a look at here. Leroy's not going to be short, surely. No. Now, for the viewers, um, Robbie's got the female grand final on the left-hand side of your screen. Okay, Leroy. Yes, he's close to the jack. No, he's not. He's got the gap. Very close. Well, I was right both times. <laughs> he was close to the it's jack. jack. <laughs> and he got the gap. Now, we uh, talk about our markers. We've talked about Neville Jenkins, but we've got Gail Crompton marking the ladies' game, so... Tells has done pretty good. He's picked his, uh, basically his present state representatives. Ah, uh, mate, they're two very experienced campaigners, mate. As all of the markers here, in my personal opinion, have done an absolute superb job all week. And um, congratulate, of course, Tweetheads Bowls Club for this wonderful event that they do put on. And hearty congratulations to Wayne Turley for um, getting the field together that he did get. I think it's uh, is run of, it's probably the best singles event uh, just with the calibre of players you go a long way to see anything better than what's put on show here uh, Jim there isn't that's why I've been coming to it for 30 years yes I thought you're coming here because one day you're hoping to get an invitation uh, and I was told by your it's lovely a while ago. <laughs> it's a while ago that I would have played the I was told that beat any of these blokes told many years ago that uh, you got excited once because you saw a letter from Tweetheads but was asking you not to come back next year I was led to believe Jimmy <laughs> were you led to believe that <laughs> I played four ga four finals on rink four and you walked straight up the steps into the bar it's a beautiful <laughs> rink I had four wins and finals there there you go same rink same rink geez what a great starter here by Leroy not too far away just pulling up a tad short a beautiful well, line on that one. <laughs> well, Omar snuck one at the back. He's got one there around the back. Just and looking. strangely enough, he's thrown ditch to ditch. <laughs> he has, yes. Which you're quite in shock over that. Mm, quite in shock that he didn't draw a toucher with his first bowl. He's going to go pretty close this time around, though, mate. Now Leroy's going to think, maybe I should have put that one two foot behind. <laughs> Oh, well, I've got to put this one two foot behind or I'm going to go for it. I think he's going to go for it anyway. Yep. Looks like he's going to try and sink the uh, the kitty in the pit. Wow. Going to drive early in the game. You've got to hit. It can be costly if you don't hit. But then again, as I said, it's only on the game, exactly what you said, Jimmy. So if you're going to do it, it's a good time. Omar but hasn't got his grass to touch the kitty. He, nope. was, he was under the line to move the kitty back, but he did that yeah. old trick of dropping Jack away. Drop it, he did too, didn't he? That one where you're thinking of touching the kitty, so you bowl it narrow, and then you bowl it Jack high, and you smack yourself from the side of the head. Right, Leroy. Looks like he's shaping to go again too, Jim, by the looks of things here. Well, I guess the last bowl shouldn't phase him. He's a lot closer this time. Very, very close. A bit of both. Yep. Play some more ball. And I think he's killed it. Was going at a good enough angle. Rather that, hit. or he doesn't want Aaron to have another go because he's picked the mat up and chucked it on the bank, mate. <laughs> it's your call there, Jim. <laughs> chucked it on the six-foot line up that end. <laughs> so, um, yeah, getting ready for Aaron to uh, to roll. So Paul Turner, Keith... Club, 
Laurie Andrews says, go Queensland. Well, I guess that's what we're talking about when we're counting Omar as Queensland. Good on you, Laurie. How are you, mate? Lindsay as Queensland. Hope you're keeping well, buddy. Ray Thorne. Carolyn. Brodie Turner. Good day, Kerry Gillespie. We're a bit quiet on this one. We haven't had any stories there for a bit. Roy Campbell's there. Good on you, Roy. Alan Vidler. Good to see Alan hasn't gone down for his afternoon nana nap yet. <laughs> on you, Oh, Omar, cut his grass line there. He's still looking. Hands on the hips. He didn't throw it. He's thrown it five foot short of his, of his target. Yes, he has, hasn't he? And he reprimanded himself and yes. duly bowled narrow while he was talking to himself. So yep. He's just got to arrive now. Not quite. Not quite there. Close enough. Yep. Good shot. Pretty handy. Forced a hand change. Only a lorry. Okay, Omar, over the forehand, as Jimmy just said. Could be a bit runny with this one. Is he going to get a little inside edge? Got it fat. Got it fat. Too much of it. Yes, we've got two cracking games here. Said the women see... Uh, I can see around the corner of the post here. Can you? I can see a lot more of the ladies' game than you can. Yep. Lindsay's got two smack on it and another one a foot away. Well, I tell you a secret, she had that last end too, mate, but I see she didn't score. <laughs> Here comes Leroy. He's not far away once again. Omar may have attacked oh. this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that uh, there... He's, you know, he might have the ball. He looked like he oh. missed. No, he missed by a foot. Yep, not happy with that. He's got two wild draw shots and a miss. Leroy try and change this target. Yep. He won't want to leave it for a second crack at it. Blind Freddy. Good day, Blind Freddy. How are you, mate? That can't be Jake Felberg, surely. No. Nah. Blind Freddy. Okay, Omar, going again. It's closer. Only one. Oh, geez, I thought he may have got the kitty with that one. Only one. We're yep. going to have a look for which is second shot, and he's got a free bowl. What yes. were you calling him this morning? A free hit. Free hit, mate. This one's you got to count because oh, yes. you miss this one and you get beat 25-24 or 25-23. You remember not drawing one within four and a half foot. Yep. He's, str he's struggling to get four and a half foot. Yep, put that one on the card. I'll get the measure out. Oh, no. Janko knows how many it is. He's not going to tell him. He's walked and he's holed up his one. thing. We'll mark that one down on the score sheet as a one and not a two. Yep. Bit of a free kick there, really, wasn't it, mate? Blind Freddy is a friend of Jake's. Okay, yes, Blind he Freddy. Is. He is too. Hope you keep him well, Freddie. Mate, what a uh, great event this has been, though, um, Jim. And I see that you didn't bring your uh, little brother down uh, this year, um, Johnny. Oh, he's otherwise occupied. Is he? Okay. No yeah. doubt out rolling up and honing in on his... He'd probably be on the golf course. Yes. Well, I knew he'd be on a green somewhere, mate. Okay, Leroy. Concentration plus watching this bowl. It's not going to be too far away when it stops, neither. Should be nearly on it. Just about all over it, mate. Yep. It's nearly on it. Yep. Could be a little closer. Yeah, well, that's true. Not much. Mick Cross. Phil Black. G'day, Phil. Sitting by the pool in Penang. Good on you, Phil. We've got Norm Penn, Logan City, Jan Dowie, 
and 907 watching on that screen there. Yep. So Omar, perfect weight, just needs a little bit more grass. There's a bit of breeze out there, but it's in his head more than anything else. Yep. It's going to be somewhere near it again. Very close. Two great bowls from Leroy. Sits down, it'd be better for him. I think Omar's going to attack this one. Had to sit down. Ooh. We won't comment on that one. No. Yes, you can see why they're in the final, and you have a look at the players they've beaten to get there. <laughs> Some class sitting back there watching this final, uh, Jim. Mm. Absolute, some incredible players. Exactly what you said. And these players have beaten them all to get here. We'll go behind. Yep, good bowl by Leroy. Makes it interesting. He's having a bit of a think now that he missed by so much with the first one. Yep. If he'd have missed by two inches, he would have gone again. And he's going again. Fire one, fire two. Much closer. He's got it. <laughs> and he's got <called> it. <laughs> well, uh, let's just see what time they're going to put the lights on, Jimmy. Well, Jenko wanted to get paid by the hour. <laughs> oh, mate. The guys at the thing were wanting to know what joke I was going to tell this time, but I'm just going to leave it at the, the old termite pet from the other day. I wasn't telling any more jokes yeah. after that. I got a bit of rubbishing. Did you? Well, I didn't think you could read my comments. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to read them out loud. <laughs> oh, okay, mate. Fair enough. I'll forgive you this time. Right, Chris Christina. Yes. The board is showing that Lee's coming from Western Australia. He went past there once. Yes. That's what Turley wrote in the book, so... <laughs> Yes, well, big hearty congratulations to uh, Wayne, as I said, for putting together this field. It really is a class field that he has achieved, that's for sure. And we see Leroy as what um, you were saying previously there, going to keep shortish top ends. Anything but ditch the ditch. Yep. Don't know what Aaron's doing over there, but he's given his bowls. Um, it'll be a little bit slippery, so give him a bit of a polish up by the looks of him. I think he rubbed a bit of dirt on it. Rather that or he's praying to draw a shot, one of the two. See a good starter there, weight-wise, by Leroy. Michael Hall from Hobart and Greg Dowling from Burnett. He's uh, uh, one of the stalwarts of the Burnett Club, ex-star tennis player. Yep. About Very 50 years ago. All right. Mm. Uh, toucher there by Omar, just didn't get... The, just got the edge of the kitty. Gee, it would be close to 50 years ago now I come to think of it. All right. Be more than 40. Okay. Back in about twisty era. That's a fair while ago. I asked Benny last night why Jeff wasn't here. He said he's been a bit crook. That's no good. Hope you uh, hope you get well soon, Jeffrey. Well, I did say to Benny that he's leaving hypo that I know so <laughs> he, Benny didn't argue with me uh, nice great young fella young Ben Omar is he inside this he's got to fall down well we'll ask Neville and he's going to say measure because he's not going Ooh. he's going to say that shot ok good call straight away Yep. Oh, well, you've seen Neville play. He drives at anything, so, you know, he's brave. Yes. He only drives at anything because he hits them. Mm. Why is his name Omar? Well, Sheriff's only got one R and one F or whatever it's got, and Sharif is the actor. Yes. Omar Sharif. Okay. That's the answer why his name is Omar. Omar, that is correct. Mm. 
He's going to get this one back on that hand. Only maybe. Might knock the other ball in for shot. Oh, just got to sneak that right in the back. Yep. Got, he got it back to the line. Past yep. the line. So, Lee Schreiner coming down to have a look at this. Good idea. We'll land the marker. Yeah. <laughs> Janko had to get in there and have, a, have, bit have a bit of a look. Have a bit of a look too, mate. Uh, Omar having a bit of a look at it also. Andrew. Mate, uh, no, you're dead right, you. John. He has had a great 22-23. Uh, he certainly has. Yogi's struggling a bit with the date. He's put on here that I'll have to get home early to get to the pennant tomorrow. Mm. You go to pennant tomorrow, it'll be really good, Yogi, because that'll be Friday. Yes. Uh, good luck, mate. Are they playing at Bagara? I'll be able to... Yeah, it's playing at Bagara. I'll be able to walk home Mate, just get, get there for Saturday. Mate, get to um, get to Bagara and just use Jimmy's account, mate, till Saturday. OK, Christina's drawing a knocker when she had less than a foot three down. Yes. That right. was that little bit of clapping in the background you heard. Yeah, Aaron having a good look at this to see... Here we favours for shot. He is having a real good look. Neville's helping him. Yep. <laughs> we would say that's close from here. And the way Omar was looking at it, it is close from there. <laughs> it definitely is by the looks of that. Don't we got very good eyes. How far away is that short one of Leroy's? Uh, it can't be too far away. It's, um, the ones on the wing are definitely closer, though, I think. On the screen, on the screen, that one looks to be in the swim, but yeah, it didn't even on put the, the fingers at that. I think you'll two. find Aaron be looking to trail this, though. Well, he wants to sit on his own bowl and pop that one. Mm. Yeah, he's going to get in. He's if awfully he, close. If he gets in, he draws the shot. He might even touch it. Oh. Does he draw the shot? What when a great falls, draw. falls out. When it falls back, he yeah. has <laughs> small amount of mm. <laughs> small amount of body language. Yeah. Then I know if that was home and Tony Townsend would have played, gone across there, there'd be a divot in the green. <laughs> Is that right? His hat would be off. Would have kicked mm. most of the bowls. He. One to Leroy. Yep. Another one wrong for... For Jimmy? <laughs> no, no, another one. For wrong Neville. for Janko. For Neville. Yeah, it was two days ago since yep. he got the other one wrong. Yep. Yeah, definitely from uh, New South Wales at the moment. Um, Jesse, you're 100% correct there, mate. What, Lee? Lee, yeah, playing out of... Um, Raymond Terrace, I think, isn't yep. he? Yeah, Raymond yep. Terrace. He's they just won the pennant. Just won the pennant, mate. He's had a great, as someone just said, one of the viewers just said, uh, John said Lee's had a big 22-23, and you're 100% correct, mate. He definitely has. He's in fine form. Could not agree more. Stu Greenman. Hope all is well. A shout-out for Byron Bay Bowl's centenary celebration tomorrow. Good on you, Stewie. How are you, mate? Sounds good. Stewie's a member of the Kyogre Bowl Club. Okay. Okay, Lee. Sticking to the forehand. We're two all and he's got the right grass. He trickle up. Needs to trickle a bit more. Oh, that would have been up there from the last game, mate. We'll get that changed anyway. Can't read that one. That's right. Let's I did a bit of cut and pasting on the pennant teams on pennant teams on Sunday night, and uh, one of our Division Two skips got mm. put in Division One, and uh, I didn't change the uh, boat yeah. that was playing there previously, previously, which appeared to upset him that it had been dropped lower than fifth mm. grade. Is that right? No, we <laughs> often use old scoreboards, and they just write the names in. That's also. It's only a technicality. Well, he's here this time. 
A good looking bowl here from Lee. Not no, far he's away. not. He didn't get past his own. Omar's been missing his grass a bit mm. this early stage, like it's only two all. And we're searching for the grass on this green where they've come from right across the other side. Yeah, coming back coming back to the line. Yeah. No, mm. Good on you, John. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Lee lives in Western Australia now. Matt Chip says. Yes, mate. It's um, it's to do with the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team, uh, John. Yes, we're the ones that are live streaming it. I can guarantee you that. Timmy Phillips got a little call here. Timmy. Three and a half metre swells he's in. He's on a cruise. Right, Omar, looking to dead draw this. Going a bit, going a bit too far. A bit quick. And getting across a metre. Yep. That's a bit uncharacteristic that yep. he's that far away in three goes. Yep. Michael Smith, then, I and Michael was on the other day. Playing... Might have been playing for Caloundra back in the day. Okay. Another good bowl here from Lee. And a good spot. Yep. Cover Maybe three. Sort of, sort of covering those. Three shots. Does Omar just go down the guts? Yep. After his first three draw shots, maybe he goes down the middle. Yeah, Mark, we know Lee lives in New South Wales, mate. Here we go. Still posting him, mate. It's taken a while to do. Unfortunately, everything's slow After here today. After his first three, three draw shots, he goes down the middle out yeah, wide. just missing. Just he, missed that. He didn't go down the middle. Yeah. Went out wide. So, Lindsay up 4-2 over Chris. Struggled a bit that end, Christina. Omar. You won't want to do that too many times. No, that's for sure. Yes. Kerry Green, afternoon crew, he says. Afternoon, Kerry. Michael Brindle. Hey, Michael. I eventually caught up with Michael Brindle at the Juniors this year at mm. Burnett. I always thought that was a... Michael Brown putting it in, since we always, he's known as Brindle. Brindle, that's true, no, Michael Brindle's. I, I didn't know there was an actual Michael Brindle. Yes, really, there so. is. So I found out better since then. And Dakota, I think, is his daughter that plays so well. 100% correct, mate. Right, Lee, sticking to his backhand, coming this way. Could be a little bit underdone grass line with this one. Razor. The best a man can get, Mark Gillette. Hey, Mark. Are you guys live streaming any of the World Bowls? I certainly imagine they are. Yes, we are. We are, Mark. Yeah, well. Great bowl there from Aaron. We've got two in the area to start with this time. Yep. Two good openers. The girls are drawing closer than the guys at the moment. Yeah. I guess that's a, that a sexist comment. Leroy's nearly there. Yeah, good bowl there by Lee. Great bowl. Yep. Four all there in the ladies now. Christine White, very true. Like us all, he is human, even if only partly human. <laughs> only a Christine. That little bit of grass line had got him again. Yeah, he's been in fine form, John, that's for sure. But, mate, so is this man here. He's impressed me this week. Well... I was able to watch him play in the uh, New South Wales... Um, Queensland Test Series too, and he had a rough first test, but gee whiz, he bounced out of the blocks in the second and third, and didn't he play some great bowls? Another good bowl there from Lee, not far away, sitting jack high. Well, I think he 
I think he lost two of his first three games here and hasn't looked back. Hasn't looked back since then. He had to beat Twisty in the last game to make the 2 3 playoff yesterday afternoon. What a great bowl there from Aaron. We're back in business with Omar. We're going to come and have a look. Yep. It won't look any prettier. No, that's true. <laughs> Just the fact that everything's jack high, basically. There's nothing behind. Well, they've got their weight pretty well spot on every bowl, haven't they? Let's have a look whether he's got two seconds. Oh, hits, that, hits the pack. I think Omar's ball goes with the jack and sticks with it unless he puts it out of bounds. Unless he puts it out of bounds. We'll see what happens, because I imagine he's going to hit some of those three balls if he's going to play attacking. Yes. And if he just plays a couple of foot to it, he could just cut it across for three down. He's had a look. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's going to play. Omar's got one to play. He's got to have that in the equation too. Going to draw. Yep. He wanted to get there. It's nearly there. He's a foot under. Is he going to get hold of his own though? No. Oh, just rocked Omar's in also too. So now we've got. Seven of them lined up at Jack Eye. <laughs> now, Omar, that we have. Omar's got this little shot of trailing yeah. at two foot for three or four. Yeah. And knowing Omar has some sort of a bowls brain, he's figured that out all by himself. He hasn't got a coach to tell him that. Yard over and sit the bowl, Blake um, said, and that's what he played, except he was a, a footlight. He's got a good grass line on this. I don't think he can trail it. But he could no. draw the second shot. He's very close to doing that. Well, he could have trailed it, couldn't he? Falls on it and goes one down. <laughs> Gee whiz, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's close. Oh, he's nearly touching. It's whether it's two or not. Yanko's in the action. I'm saying one from here. Yep. You want to have a guess? Jack Low, not Jack High, I believe. That's the Kiwi impersonation, impression of it, Anton. Yes. 100% correct, mate. Australians don't say much about Jack Low, but the Kiwis all do. What was the call from Neville? Jenko's going to hold one up here soon. One, yep. He was keeping us in suspenders. Just the one. Got totally thrashed by Lee, round one, Australian Open by Nico Williams. Great bloke to bowl against. G'day Steve, Steve G, Rodney, Mike Watts, how are you Mike? And Denzel. And how far did that jack go Robbie? On the tee? Two to two mate. Strangely enough. Yeah, dead right Steve, he did make himself unavailable for Australian selection mate. Now Omar seems to be motoring. He threw it right to the jack. Yep. Christina's drawn one six inches behind on a very short end. She certainly has. Okay, Lee sticking to his forehand too. He's got a good five, six foot to draw the absoluta. He's definitely in the right region. Comes down to his weight now. He's got a little bit more tracking to do. Just going to pull up a tad short. Perfect line on that. It's bigger than a tad. Yep. It's bigger than a tad for these two guys. Oh, for these two it is, mate. That'll be a tad for you and I. Oh. 
Has KK played yet? She has played. And she's on at the moment. If you have a look at the screen on the left-hand side, she's leading 5-4 against Lindsay Clark in the final. And she's got two shots at the moment with only three bowls on the green. So uh, Omar just got shot with that one. Pouring rain in Albion. Is the rain coming your way? Oh, well, I hope not. <laughs> can't see. Can't see. There's not a cloud in the sky. No. Well, he always changed his hand. Yeah, he's got st stuck over the backhand here, so... Um, he's still coming. Yeah, he's played this pretty well, but what's it? He's just going to shoot across the head. Mm, still coming. Pretty good enough for shot, though. Definitely one shot. Yes, he made it. Speed of the green, gents. Well, it's nowhere near the speed that was uh, going four days ago. Uh, it's running quite playable, but it started at 17 and it hasn't been near there since with a bit of overnight rain. Well, we had overnight rain again last night, so... Maybe running 15. Oh. Be no quicker than 15. It's a fair bit of difference than the 17 plus that it was on the first day. It was fantastic speed of green the first day. Must be a big call out to Colm McPherson though and his green staff under very trying conditions. Fifteen perfect, you're dead right, mate. Nothing uh, wrong with that. Omar's going to play something here. He's going to try and play under the short bowl to touch the kitty. Well, he got under the short bowl. We'll see what happens with the next bit of it. He nearly touched the kitty. Awfully close. He's got another bowl behind that one in the screen. Would have yes. been four to push him down the line. Four, if you got that, yes, 100% correct there, Jim. But this man here had another bowl in his hand. It's nearly the free shot bowl, but mm -hmm. it is ditch to ditch. He's trying. It's coming back now. Could be just a little bit runny, Jim. But it looks is it. a bit runny. Like that cheese in John Cleese's show. Yep. The cheese emporium. That was so true. It's a little runny. On you, Tim. I'm glad you've enjoyed it, bud. And, of course, uh, as always, um, as you can see the um, on this rink, we're going through some of the sponsors who are very gracious of to support our great game, Jim. Of course, we've got Club Tweed and BCI Beer Insurance Brokers as well as Aero Bowls. Same line every time, as well as J. Carroll Club Promotions and Great Northern. And, of course, Green Sports Lounge, which is right behind us. Really done a fantastic job here at um, Club Tweed, doing up downstairs. They've really opened it up into a magnificent uh, El Frisco style dining and they've got incredible meals here I can assure you of that yes that picture of that black fish in the bottom corner there that's got Mark Winter written all over it at four o'clock because they're yes. five dollars between four and six absolutely mate we tried some of the five dollar specials yesterday oh, I have no doubt that you did you have to get them you have to get the game finished shortly after four o'clock yes. for you I still can't see that one. <laughs> well, Lindsay's got one flush on it this time. No, oh, good starter there by Omar. Just still a good couple of feet in behind the head with that one, though. Yes, it's a good couple of feet. Yep. A couple of Jack Owens feet, really. Yeah. It's about two and a half feet. So Lee gone straight to his forehand. Getting it back. Getting it back, getting it back. Not quite. Still won't fall that bowl of, uh, of Aaron's. <laughs> Still just taking the, the balance. Well, that's when you have a yabby putting its claw up underneath it. Yep. 
This one here starts working its way back into the head. It gets back for another shot. That's knocked it over. There you go. That'll teach you. Well. Yeah, he's still got a couple of feet to draw shot here, Lee. We're having a think about it, but he's really should be only just drawing onto those two bowls. Yep. Inside those two bowls or whatever. Running at him is only going to get rid of his bowl as well. And he's taken some grass, first part of it. Yeah, he's played this very well, mate. He's drawn the shot for a start. Yep, he definitely has. Mm. We're going to say that shot. we got to, haven't we? Well, I'd probably back it in. It's a fair way behind. Oh, Omar's not going to like that. No. Yeah, he gives the size of the fish he caught. With his yes, hands it was that size, eh? Well on you, Samuel. One, two, Omar has been signalled by the marker. Okay. So the one on the line isn't shot. It looks like shot on the TV. But it's not. So Lee... Nice little trail he'd be chasing. Well, he's got to get... Well, he is inside that bowl of Omar's. It's whether he's up now is the problem. Oops, the arms are folded. The arms are folded. He's not happy with that. His arms are folded and he thinks oh, he did a boo-boo. Do you think Omar chases this bowl? Yep. Make three, make four out of if he sits and stays. So, shots like this that normally win your finals is a real... He can't do any harm sitting on the two bowls of his own. No. Or wicking off his... He's only got his, his just fourth shot. He's, he's, got, he's he, got three seconds. Yeah, he's not going big. He's just over a draw, really, isn't it, Jim? Well, he's quick. Now, he's going to have his hands folded. Yep. <laughs> Let's come back on the line. His grass is spot on. One shot. Obviously not easy to play. No. One there to uh, Aaron Sheriff. Because uh, how many games have you seen Omar play that he'd play that shot perfectly? Yes. Well, here we go. The tactics are changing. No more T to T. We're going to uh, take the mat right up and roll to the T. Well, this is what he did against Greg Kelly. I think you were you yes. were commentating. It was 16 all. Uh, this is in the rounds. wasn't yes. the semi this morning. It was 16 all, and Omar got a three, and he decided to play Matt up mm. instead of the ditch. The ditch he'd been playing Kelly on, and immediately lost five shots in a row. Yeah, but. He's been struggling on the long length himself, so... A good start of weight-wise there by Aaron. Oh, well. Better than, better than weight-wise. That's a good ball. Yep. And that's a good ball. Depends on his speed now. Could be just a, just a little bit runny. Not much, but just just a little bit. It uh, didn't get back in as much as I thought. thought yep. That's a fact Maybe the mat up the greens changed that changed angle a bit. Changed the dynamics of it, yes. One thing we noticed previously, had to be, that's about the line. You had to be around the outside of that B. It's, as you see, come straight back to the line there, Jim. Yeah. If you watch when they come across through the B... Well, you're not going to see the B now because Lee, Lee's just changed his hand. <laughs> so There's no B in insurance. <laughs> well, there is, in, in there is in brokers if he was driving. Here we go. He arrives here for the jack, does he? He certainly does. He just arrives and draws, draws it. it. Beautiful bowl there by Lee. Lee Schreiner from Raymond Terrace in New South Wales. Lives in Western Australia. <laughs> okay. And I was playing the hand that he's. Yeah. The 
hands flopped on the side and the cap came off. Yep. He's struggling a bit. Not far away again. Going to set this bowl. Great bowl. Well, how quick? Might see a bit of weight this time around. How quick? Does he flat? Does he just run that jack in on the backhand? Just runs that jack in on the backhand. Both bowls. Well, Lee's got the opportunity now to uh, to put it back. Well, a bit over a foot. Yep, it's nothing. It hasn't gone on the scoreboard yet. No, mate. Oh, he's going to run at it. Yep, looks that way. He might run it. Both the balls might be worth three. Might be another one on the back. Well, here. he could get both here. Hmm. He might get Jack. Oh, no, he forehand. Got them both. He got them both. Great bowl by Lee. Two shots. Yep, good bowl by Lee. Played that very well. Well, they both did. Yep. And I got the top result. I guess the top result was sinking the kitty on the number for one. Yep. But uh, a good result, getting both the bowls. Mm. You see the score in the ladies. Uh, Lindsay seven. Christina, five. Like this final here, long way to go yet. Lindsay's drawn the first one, two foot on the line. Three-quarter length, the ladies are playing. He's stalking it, only because it's close. Very so close. Roll over. Great bowl from uh, Lee. Yes, you can hear the clapping up the other end of the street here. Yes. It's a full green away from where we're sitting. We're not actually straight behind this rink. We're more behind the ladies' rink. And a good answer, we'll just bowl one two foot behind. Maybe a bit more than two foot. Maybe three and a half foot. Magnificent nut, Leroy, from Scott Baker. Still can't see any of your screen. Sam Winter. Okay. Okay, Omar. He's got his hand over his eye shading, so the sun's in his eye a little bit there. Wrong side of that. Showing a little bit of uh, discontent in his body language there with a bit of a swagger around the back. Thinking I should have done better then. Yep. As Leroy is just a little bit shy on one or the other. Weight or grass, I'm not sure which. More than likely counts say that bowl, believe it or not. Measure. Yep. Measure to the jack eye bowl, actually. Doesn't look like that on the screen. Right, Aaron, looking to dead draw it. I'm going to beat this back bowl. He's got a... Third shot, two up, says Neville. Neville, yep. 
That scoreboard attendant is a hard job. I mean, the sun's beating down, down on, on you, you, and you've got to have those matchsticks to keep your yeah. eyes open. Oh, that's absolutely. I would have nodded off in that position by now. Leroy's stalking it. He's getting it back. Has it got the last footer running? It has. Well, he could probably use that natural fact, Darren. If he got the inside edge of that bowl, I reckon he'd go pretty close to getting Kitty off that. I couldn't see Neville's hand then, whether that was signalling two or three. I favour, just looking at it, I think I would favour Aaron's bowl there. Just being up the line there, Jim. We're going to say two. Yep. And he's got one bowl in five. How quick is he? Not quick enough to knock that one in for another. No, no quick enough, enough to, to come off it for shot. shot. That's a great bowl by Aaron. Put his hand up. And apologise, I don't know why. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was in the area and... It Got the result. It was only two inches off going bad. Yep. But you can't go bad all the time. Mm. Mad Dog, I oh, have played a couple of games lately and not very well. Jason? My rink won by two shots, first round of the pennant. Is that right? But I, uh, the selectors have dropped me this week as reserve. Well, they tell me you're chairman selectors up at Bagara, mate, so you've obviously been very harsh on yourself. Oh, well, if you don't play well, you don't play next week. OK. And uh, I knew my training this week would be sitting listening to you or talking <laughs> with you. Well you would have gone back a far better player than you arrived here with. At least I would have learned something you yes, would think. You would think so. What you learn I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Mad Dog here is talking about the good old days of Premier League days. Ah uh, yes. They were good days too Jim. Had the pleasure of playing against you in Premier League and it was a most enjoyable afternoon. I think that was night. That I can't remember. <laughs> I know my wife refused to take me to another game again. <laughs> can't help bad luck. Uh, we had a good day though, mate. That's the main thing. That would have been at Hamilton that then. That was at Hamilton. You're 100% correct, mate. Back in the good old days. Okay, Omar, 8-5 to Lee at this particular stage. Looks like a pretty good first up bowl by Omar. It works its way into the head. Just going to be sitting in behind. I still thought he'd be going on the tee. Yep. No, I thought he'd go a little bit longer too, in actual fact, um, Jim. But anyway. Played two or three ordinary ends on the tee and it's yes. shaken him a bit. Yep. Yes, those uh, Premier League days at Hamilton... Saturday night starting at 5 o'clock with 300 people coming back from the races at 10 past 5. 100% correct. was always fantastic. Mm. And Brownie used to actually mow the greens on Saturday so they'd run a bit better than he had in midweek. Yeah, uh, they were running pretty good that night, mate. For a night game? Only if Brownie was playing. They could run 13 on Thursday and run 16 at night time. Night time. Two days yeah. later. He's, he's somewhere near the equation here. Very close. Yeah, great ball there by Lee. Clapping. That clapping you heard in the background was for Lindsay. Yeah, nearly got back. Can he get back around it? Not quite. Well, he knows how to bowl a grouping. Yes, definitely. He rolled in the jack into the ditch. Wow, did he? We must have been mumbling about something that was written on one of these screens. Yep, written on both of them. Okay, Lee, not far away. Once we're just going to get an inside edge. Not okay. quite. 
Okay, so we've been straightened up that Omar bowled it into the ditch. Yep. Yes, we were just looking at something I else. I was reading four or five comments here that are always interesting. Yes. Okay, Omar, a little touch on the kitty if you can get to it. Which hand? Well, he's had a couple on the backhand. That bowl there could be in his run, but I think he'll still stick there, in my opinion. He's got to play, he's got to play it right to get around that and back to the jack. He's got the grass, and he's got a bowl here. He had to hit something, but that was a little bit of a... A little bit too quick, mate. A little bit of a, perhaps, a little bit of each way. Yep where the gap is bigger than the kitty in the bowl. And he hit it in the middle. Okay, we've got that error we made about saying that Omar threw the kitty up. Tell you what, it comes number two. Lee's played this very well. Number oh. two-ish. Probably not. Qu oh, Ooh. just fell in, I reckon. Got close when it fell back. Jenko knows. He stuck his head around the corner, had a little He's peek. See him have a bit of a look there, mate. He's fumbling for his... Uh, yep. He knows whether it's one or two and he's... He's not going to tell us. Has he got the measure in his hand there? I think he's got measure in his left hand. He's about to hand it over. Well, he always... Uh, yeah, in, in it goes. Here it comes. There he goes. Yep. Just waiting for uh, Omar to come back. A fair bit of room when you're looking sideways yep. on. And there's a Motley crew over there. Have a go at that. Crawford and Neryl. My God. I think, that, I think they had up the ante on those couple. Damien in his wheelchair there. Two. Ooh, da, da, da. That's why he's measuring it, because it's awful close. It's very close. The umpire coming over now. I imagine that's an umpire's measure. I think it would be uh, bollocks. Are they going to use the new... Um The new laser? Is it the new laser, Jim? I guess so. It's chocking first. Uh, no, it's not going to be the new laser. It's going to use the old uh, old instrument. Lindsay's got a little break since I was looking across. She's got the 10. Yes. But she's two down on the head now. Jimmy, you couldn't get two polar opposite personalities. <laughs> he has white water and Omar wears his heart on his sleeve. He wouldn't make a very good poker player. Perfect Lance. Neville Hook. Hey, Neville. I was asking about Desi Dalla the other day. I've got a mate up north wanted to know. He hadn't heard from him for a while. And I know Desi put a comment on the other day. But I haven't been able to find out too much info on him. I haven't um, seen Des for a while. We used to see him quite a bit at Musgrave Hill Bowls Club, as always. But um, I'll be at Musgrave Hill for the university games in the end of September. I imagine finding out how he's travelling then. 
Find out before then for you, mate. Righty up. Great Blake Desi, that's for sure. We still tell the story about the burglars coming through the roof when he was doing the cleaning early cleaning in, the in the morning. Middle of the night, or yeah. what time of the morning it was. You wouldn't think a big bloke like Desi would take on a couple of burglars breaking into the club. Uh, I'd say he probably had his wife helping him, mate, so he felt brave. Uh, great bloke, Desi. Very good singles player. Uh, very good everything player. Second. Yep. Ah, they're dead set using the laser, mate. Played second in the with the big kahunas. Yep. yep. Obviously one of the true legends of um, Tweed Heads Bowl Club here too. That's two. In Ivan Kirker. Yes, I saw Ivan the first morning. Yep. Haven't seen him till today. Great bloke. Done a lot of work for this club over the years, Ivan. Life member. He did tell me that Jughead's away for 12 or 13 weeks holiday. Yes, he is. It's pretty sad that someone can get that length of holiday. Yep. <laughs> uh, BCIB, mate. Give him a bit of a break. And his lovely wife, Karen. 10-5 we've got. And 11-5 in the ladies. So we call that a mini break. A mini break would have to be. Might be in tennis. Thank you very much for those uh, kind words, Ian. It's uh, 5 a.m. over UK time. Good on you, mate. Glad that you're enjoying the coverage. Right, Leroy, sticking to his backhand. Something like the grass. Yes, very similar. Not a bad starter by Lee. Running into the head, yeah, just going to sneak a under. Foot. A foot. Great first up bowl. Maybe a foot. Omar's got the track too. Let's see if he's bowled can turn like the last one. He's not up. We won't find out. If he, misses, if he misses his weight by four foot, we'll win. Yep. Let's say that's the biggest four foot looking across the air. Seven foot. Okay, Lee automatically switches to his forehand. Obviously didn't like that bowl there of uh, Aaron's bit in his draw. Flicks off that and gets close. Yes. Very good bowl, once again. Putting the pressure on Aaron very early in the fire, proceedings. Fire one. <laughs> yep. And a kill. <laughs> Here's Neville's opportunity now to get a bit of practice in. Is, mark, is the marker Neville Jenkins see more, it says here? Yes, it is. One of the nicest guys and best bowlers to leave Ballarat and head north. Desi Dollar's got a comment. Desi! On the sofa listening to you, Jim. <laughs> Off on a cruise Saturday. Catch you later. Very good, Desi. Good on you, Des. It was Ian Goodhue from Woodgate. We played against him on Saturday in the pennants. Yep. Asking how Des was. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, great singles player, mate, and a great play, Desi. <laughs> I don't think that's quite right, Alan. I think Karen's quite happy to go with Kelvin. <laughs> no, they're having a fantastic time. I looks at them on Facebook. They're on a farm, Ivan was telling me. A, a farm stay with... I think he's back in the peanut country. Is that right, eh? He's got pigs and horses and cows and... Whatever else. Might as well have come to our place in the old days. Uh, Could have done some of the milking. <laughs> no, you did right there, Damien. Brett Wilkie goes all right too. I first agree with that. Been very fortunate where I've been able to watch quite a few of uh, Brett's games over the years. And um, I tell you that he hasn't lost anything at the moment. Still playing as good as he was quite a few years ago. 
Lee, keeping it round about the same length, uh, noticing here, Jim. Come on, Neville, that's at least a quarter of an inch off level. <laughs> uh, get hold of your eyes, start going on you, mate. Looks level to you. Is that one going to get here? Yeah. It's coming. It's still coming. Yep. Great starter there from Lee, first up. Right in Omar's backhand. Yep. Rip one. Missed. He's under. Ten five down. Running first bowl and missing. You can't run and miss. Game one in the ladies. Eleven eight to Lindsay. Over Christina. Good shot here. He gets all the way back. If he gets around it, he'll nearly be a back toucher. No, he's not quite here. Oh, Omar probably go again now. Oh, fire two. Yep. Oh, 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 changed his hand and bowled yep. it in the same spot. He's having a bit of a wander over there, getting his mind together. Right. Lee, what's he going to do with this one? He does want to fatten that target, Jim. Uh, he's going to draw into the pack and try and roll something somewhere. Yep. Be a little bit underdone grass line with this one. That didn't make a target. No. And it counts, too. Strangely enough. Yes. Come on a bit. Starting to work his way back in now. It's come on a bit and it draws the shot. What a great bowl. What a beautiful correction Until by Aaron. he flops Aaron. on it. Great bowl by Aaron. After two practice draw shots. Well, they got one bowl each. Yep. Just how quick he attacks this. Might as well go quick. Well, he's got nothing to lose, has he, really, if he goes quick? Might as well go quick as play at half pace. Yep. Not, not out there. That's the way that come out of the hand then, uh, Jim. What? Yeah, it just come out. Didn't come out sweet. Well, after those three running shots they played, I think it's the safest place for Neville is to stand on the line. If well, I think so, mate. No one in the world is going to be stand, hurt. If he stands out to the side, he might get hit. That's ever so true. I think he's doing the right thing. If they're drawing, though, I would be standing near the line. Uh, well, they're allowed to miss a running shot occasionally. And that's nice and safe. That would be called a nice, safe skipper shot when you're holding. Yep. Get one, and that way you can dictate what length you want to play. Now we'll see if we throw it in the ditch this time. Yes. We're already kicking them back to the six-foot line. Yep. For the diff in the ladies, for the diff in the men's. True. Two great games. And they've both, Lindsay's got a... Gail's going to have to check that. She put a, a blue... They've both got a bowl 10 inches away. And Gail said... Has favoured Lindsay. Okay. Right out. we're a foot short of the tee. This is going to be close. This will be where Omar excels. Great starter. And he's left a gap. Yep. After, afternoon, Bunger. How are you? Not so bad leaving a gap. How's Dolby this afternoon, Gary? Hope you're keeping well, mate. Great to catch up with your chinchilla there a few weeks ago, buddy. 
Great weekend out there, mate. Is that the famous bunger over on your screen? Famous bunger. He's hiding from you, and I don't blame him. Tell you what, what a reply here from uh, Lee, though. Nearly picked it up. Nearly picked it up. A great reply. Beautiful bowl there. Great first up bowl there. We're going to say Jack High's shot. And he's across to Jack High again. Is he going to flop inside sits though? Sits on the bowl. He'll fall on his back. Oh, he not quite. Good starter there though. Another bowl in the head there from Aaron. Well, Leroy was thinking of changing his hand. Yep. Thought better of it. Is the bowl skinny? Has he got perfect weight? No, not quite. No, he's a bit more than a bowl skinny. Yep. Got to get out to that eye at this length, I think. Yeah. They're playing on the outside of the B in the BCIB. They've got to get to that eye to have perfect grass. Mm. And Lindsay's played a bomb to make three shots on the neck in the ladies' game. And he's got it pretty close to the eye, we'd say. Run over the top of the eye, that must be close to the grass. Very close. Got to sit his bowl down. Oh, just his weight. Look at the grass lines. Absolutely spot on. Now, what does Aaron do? Is he trying to rip his bowl out? Well, he's holding one. He's just going to draw to it. Christina smacked the kitty. I've got no idea where it went. Yeah, good try by Omar. He's got in behind with the right grass. Fiona Hall says, good day, Jimmy. Hello, Fee. Oh, Fee, she does a wonderful job at Mudgee Bar. Six days in the World Championships she was had on the screen the other day. That's correct. And I'm sure they'll do a superb job. Where are you guys shooting out of? We find out that at one o'clock tomorrow, mate. We've got a meeting with Bowls Australia tomorrow. Okay. Have a meeting with, uh, we had a meeting with World Bowls yesterday at two o'clock. Tomorrow I've got a meeting at 10 a.m. with World Bowls Champion to Champion Singles and at one o'clock with Bowls Australia. Like People so. often say to me, what do you do when you're not uh, live streaming, Brian? Going to run at this. Yeah, it looks that way. Going to run at shop bowl. Awfully close. Doesn't want his own. Ooh. He thought he was going to get two bowls at once Once again. he did thought he was going to get two at once and he could have made possibly three out of that. But instead it looks like he's going to be one down. And Omar, of course, just kicking the bowls out of the way so he can put the mat on the tee. So all those meetings with World Bowls and Bowls Australia, you, you'll be getting free lunches and uh, aperitifs? Uh, mate, very hard when you do it at Zoom meetings, mate. Oh. They can't hand the food through the screen for some reason. Okay, you get a look at a picture of food. We get a look at a picture of food, oh and no. that's when I normally put on another half a kilo. That's close enough. And look at Robbie. Robbie's got a crook back because he's put on so much weight. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I don't want to touch that one in case I get offside with the boss. Good starter here by Omar. Oop. I think it just pulled up. And it has, yes. He didn't like that. No, he just watching his expressions. It looked all right when it left his hand, but uh, well, as most of my bowls do, the they always look good till they leave my hand. The only thing you can say about that is that it's shot. It or is. Or it should be shot. Well, it's not near though. If you had a gun. He did have it for a while. Had a gun, it'd be shot. Yes. Once again, a good starter from Lee also too. Yes, Samuel, our affiliation fees at work. G'day, Colin Hayes. How are you, mate? Collie, jockey. Yep. Jockey Hayes, eh? Jockey Hayes. 
Good bloke, Colt. Even knows you. Says, good day, Jimmy. Should be riding track work for Damien. Yes. Yeah. Nice correction from uh, Aaron. Just a few foot through the head, though. Uh, we've got Lee on the mat at the moment. Lee Schrainer from the Raymond Terrace Bowls Club in New South Wales. He's honing in with this one. He's not too far away. Got to roll over a little more. That surprised me. It pulled up. I thought he had a good run on that. Looking, I can see the head across there about 40 um, yards away. Sean, I can let you know that Robbie's favourite pie is anyone, mate. Um, probably his favourite is Chunky Steak. Looking across there from corner to corner, that head. Yes. The closest bowl is four and a half feet away. Would be round about that, I'd say, uh, Gemma. I know sometimes... It looks like 18 inches, two foot on the screen, screen in front yes, of me. But I know for a fact that um, the camera angles at times can be very deceiving. It's a very loose end for the quality of play we've seen so far. Well, but Leroy's up this time. Lee's going to show us how it's done. And there it is there. There is the shot. I favour him for three shots at this particular stage. And as Robbie's got the picture there, you're, uh, yeah, you're probably right, mate. So... Aaron, he's let it go already. Trying to dead draw it. Neville's had three up, three up there. Got it. Yep. Oh, geez, wrong I, again. I thought wrong had, again, Delaney. I thought he had that right in the belly. Well, he's a little bit quicker than I thought. So he's got three. Okay, Tassie National Pies are the best, and they're on the mainland now, at last. So enjoy. Thanks, mate. I'm not going to call the boss a pie eater. I am. I know he is. Oh, uh, look at him waving his hand at this one. A, ask, fr a free shot, that ask, was. Look ask, at it. Ask Robbie what he had for lunch today, mate. Have a look at that one. Leroy, what are you doing? Three shots. Three shots and 12 foot away with the last one. Yep. Looked like one of my lead bowls on Saturday. Uh-huh. You dropped yourself there. It's horrible when you bowl... 12 foot away when you're playing lead. It's fine when you're playing skip because yes. you can you either mind. call it a blocker or yes. a backward. Numerous, numerous. When you're playing lead and you're 12 foot away, it's either a blocker or a shocker. No one tells you how to tell I call it a shocker, mate. On your Dylan. Ask Robbie what he had for lunch today, though, Jimmy. I had a pie for him yesterday just for the... Robbie had a pie for lunch. I had a pie for lunch yesterday just for Robbie. I had a chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yep. Absolutely beautiful it was. Yeah, I'd like to see that. With tomato sauce. Chicken salad. Absolutely gorgeous it was. Well, in actual fact, I uh, had two pies today instead of one. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to get off that backhand. He said, I'll play forehand if you're going to try and block me up. Yep. Surely he's in business here. Great bowl by Aaron. Great bowl. Okay, Lee, what's he going to play? Bit of weight by the looks of it. Going to play fire with fire, right? Eh? Well, why not? Just going to miss. Can you remember a game here many years ago? between Robbie Perella and Stevie Anderson mm -hmm. was called a... Oh, what was it called? There was a car involved in it. Anyway, they played sets, and the sets they played in those days was first to seven. Okay. Like you could win a set four and three in a singles game. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they played for five hours with... 40 dead ends, or how many? 
close to 40 dead ends. <laughs> yes. They paid for five hours to play seven five five seven seven six six seven seven six or something like that. And they hit him over the fence. And what shot a ball. Him. Hit him over the fence, under the fence, into the side ditch. Got the lot? And it went from one o'clock till dark. <laughs> Is that right? And it didn't take long to play those games when you can play a set in a four and a three. Uh, another good bowl by Aaron. I think Lee goes back on the draw now. What's your thoughts, Jim? I don't know. Played the running shot so well, he might go again. He might go again. He was pretty close to the kitty. He's going to go again. Yeah, it looks of him the way he's shaping, I think he might. Yep. G'day, Les. Reckons there's a good bakery. Oh, yeah, mate. Got him. And the kill. A pie, two smokes, and a can of mother. I think you'll get you'll get barred from commenting here, fiddler. <laughs> Yes, that's about Robbie's uh, dietary needs. Picked it like a broken nose. Yes, certainly did. Let's kick him back to the six-foot line, boys. You can tell these blokes skip a fair bit, don't you? Yep. And the leads just shake their head when they say <laughs> kick them back 40 feet. There you are. Samuel, I remember the old 4 and 20 pies, mate. I definitely do. You too can have a body like mine if you had one for lunch every day. Doesn't take much. Amazing what uh, two pies and ten schooners does at lunchtime. You have to get them down somehow. <laughs> uh. Okay, Lee has lengthened this out slightly to what they've been playing. So it could be interesting. But throwing as you're fully aware... The kid has been ending up just behind that R, so he's lengthened it out a little bit. And he's got the grass. He's definitely got the grass here, Jim. Weight's looking pretty reasonable also, sir. So Still coming. What a great first up bowl. Well played, Lee. Omar's going to get back to his backhand. <laughs> Good on you, mate. I tell you what, he's not far away neither. Is he going to drop inside? Doesn't quite. He's, oh. He had a bit more weight than I imagined. Yeah. I, I thought he was inside that. So that's really uh, not really a draw shot by Omar. That's a trying to sit on the bowl mm. shot. As every good lead tries to do. Well, that's true. Instead um, of drawing second shot will give you a chance to win the end, to play two pings at it and leave nothing on the head. No, I normally draw mate. I'm playing Lee these days. I love it when the skip stands on the line though, it's just put the kitty here. I say get out of the way before you get hurt. <laughs> Only threw one in the ditch. Much better shot here. It's in the head. Now he can play that little rumble through there and he can straighten off that one. Or he can get the bowl or the jack. Had my first game in Pennants there a few weeks ago, Jimmy, at Musgrave Hill, and had all the eyes of the world upon me. My first bowl was a resting toucher. Everybody was watching. I'm just lucky they didn't watch my second, third, fourth, and fifth bowls. <laughs> well, because <laughs> they were up to my normal ability. That was in the roll up. Drew yes. Resting toucher in the roll up. Okay, not far away with this one here, Lee. Just going to sneak around the back. It's very good home there. Well, probably a bit further than what he wanted, in actual fact. He's got two He's got there. two back there now. He really where wanted to break these two up here. Where Omar's going to lob. Oops. Yep. No, he's going to go quick. Well, not quick, but he's going to play attacking forehand. Yep. Playing across the head or under his own bowl. Oh, he's close to his own bowl. <laughs> Just missed it. He's he got sh should have played backhand. Um, I thought it was on, yes. It's the wider hand of the two to play, that forehand, there's no had, doubt about that. He had his own bowl to help him on the other side, where yep. it hindered him on that side. 
Okay, Lee, tell you what, he's got a good line on this one here. Comes down to his weight if he drops inside Aaron's bowl, which it looks as though he is going to do. Maybe he's going to get a little bit too much of it. Commentator's curse. Colin Bray says, can Robbie confirm that Yatla pies are the best on the coast? No, he can't confirm that, no, uh, Colin. No, he can't confirm that because he's got to have a pie at another 120 shops before he can pick the very oh, best. He, he has been to all of them. Oh, well, he doesn't want his own bowl. He's got the edge of his own. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. He went with it. One shot to uh, Lee. 14 to 7. He's 11 from the post. Uh, Robbie doesn't like uh, camembert cheese, mate. Only if it's too runny. Yes. Lindsay's okay. got the mat up the green a long way here and one on the front of the kitty. I think she'd be holding two shots here, by looks of it, from where I can see, from here. She'd be probably that left, that one on the left-hand side of the lines, probably second shot. Probably two. And Christina's got one on the bank where she's obviously had a rip at it. Oh, Lindsay wanted to drop inside that bowl of Christina's, but she just caught it on the outside. Right, out. we're just past the riding now. Yes. Back to the length that Leroy's been throwing. Been playing it very well too. Greg Robbie. Ah. He and wifey were at the uh, casino. Not a, long, not a long way away from that. Ho, 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 ho. Good on you, Lance. Master chef, mate. Okay, Omar. Hands on the hip. Yep, coming back quite a few feet over the... Yeah, Kira's pretty good, that's for sure, uh, Reddy. Right, Leroy, sticking on his forehand. Doesn't have to change too much. First one's just a couple of feet in behind the head. Well, he's out there. Yep. It's going to be just as close. Another good bowl by Leroy. They're on the wrong... <laughs> I was going to say, he's got his own two. It's We'd say he's frustrated at the moment. He's not playing as good as he always does. True. But he's not being allowed that, whether it be the opposition or just the green being in his nut a bit. Well, Lee's put the pressure to him, mate. Well, he's got the track again, so that's three. And this one's even closer. Great bowl here. That's brilliant bowling by Lee. Well, it doesn't change his shot. No. Yes, it does. Mm, well, it's fourth shot. Oh, might not be. Fourth shot. Yeah, great try. Great bowl. Brilliant bowl. Great bowl there by Aaron. Brilliant bowl after those rips. Yep. Okay, Lee sticking to his forehand. He might get that might be enough to get his mm. confidence back. Back in the old days, Yatla pies were the best on the coast. Tommy Cummins, we understand that, Tommy. Even I've stopped for a Yatla pie. Ever so true, Tommy. Okay, Aaron, sneak to the backhand, you reckon, and trail the kitty. Well, I think that bowl could be in Aaron's eye there on the forehand. That's he, why. he hasn't got much room to get the shot other than draw within two inches and yep. sit on that bowl. Coming a bit. Too quick. Not quite enough. Too quick. Okay, one more. Quarter past seven. Seven fifteen. <laughs> Good on you, Dean. Love your work, mate. Yep. So 
handy pick up once again for uh, Lee. He's really dominating the proceedings here this afternoon. Can't read that. Too much sun on it. It's getting harder to read as the sun comes around. Now, where does he throw this one? Throw it a metre past the riding, or did he throw it back four metres past the two places he's been playing? One metre past. Yep, back to the old length there, mate. Or so just a little bit further, I must admit, though, because he has been throwing it just... No, it's about where he's been playing. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure Christine has got two, if not three, shots out there. We've another bowl to play. Two. Two? Two and three shot. Yep. OK, Lee, a snit just in behind the head here with his first bowl. Gee, it's horrible looking on the TV and looking out the screen where I can see that head 40 metres away. Because mm. that bowl is more than four foot. And that bowl is nearly a metre. Yep. And they look pretty handy on the TV. That's it. He's in the ditch again, getting some sand. On your Ellen. He's digging for inspiration in the ditch there at the moment. OK. Good I correction here by Lee, though. Beautiful correction weight-wise. Hannes Van Eden says maybe the Aaron Sheriff era is over. I wouldn't think so. I don't think so, mate. Hey, Hannes. I wouldn't write him off in this game yet. He only has to find his little bit of touch. Good ball there. Jack High one shot. Looks that way. Definitely does. Shadow from the bowl sometimes can be deceiving, but I normally do favour the jack eye bowl. Can he get here? He's got the track, but he's not up. And the hands go on his head. Showing a little bit, first little bit of emotion he's shown. Yes. Right, Omar looking for a bit of a trial here. Quiet tip from Colin Bray, Jacob's Well Bakery. Yes, and a good bowl there by Omar. But it really gives um, mm. Lee something to rest on now, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Three down. He's having a bit of a think about it. He's thinking of running at that. Yep. Ooh, that's a... He thinks he's eight in front and he's bulletproof. He'll be only four in front when he misses this. Through the gap. Well, he's probably still two down. Well, lots of that. Yes, it's two down and it's four foot six to draw a third one. Christina's making a bit of a fight back there. 15, 11. And I can let you know that she's holding a shot out there with a resting toucher. It looks over in front of the kitty. KT Sheriff, shot brother. It was a shot too. And Lindsay just drew it off. No, no, sorry, Christina still got it. Gee, though, Ma. Uh, it's in the count. Yep. That'll be three. Good pick up there by Aaron. 15 10. One heck of a great game on our hands here, uh, Jimmy. As we see the um, little what length Aaron's going to play. Well, he didn't take it back to the six foot line. No. No, five behind. Five behind and four behind. Can't go to Golden Point in this game, but can you? Why not? I suppose if you're 24, he's thrown in the ditch. <laughs> Nick threw it in the deep, yep. <laughs> right, Lindsay just drew shot with that ball, though. <laughs> right, 
Lee, how far past that riding? Flat out to get past the riding. Uh, Lee's definitely changed the uh, length they're playing, so. Mm, uh, a metre shorter than normal. Mm. Once again, Aaron, before the, even the kiddies down, yep. first bowl was on his way. Yep. And a good starter here too from Aaron. Pretty close. It's a good first up bowl. Right, Lee. Fairly cold out in the wind there, looking at the spectators along the back row there. They've all got their jackets. There's even a scarf out there, I notice, uh, Jim. I felt a bit cool leaving the joint this morning. Mm. But standing in the breeze wasn't a good idea. Yes, good bowls though. No, oh, he's in a swim here. Started with two good bowls. Yep. Right now, Leroy. Change his hands to the back end. Uh, whip, he's at it. Yep. Oh, fair enough. Play whatever you're comfortable with. Very close. Got both of them. That great bowl there by Lee. Played it superbly. Wish you'd expect from him the way he's been playing. And you'd also expect Omar to draw it back on top of it like this. Yeah, good ball. Mm. Lee's still got two balls to play, though. When I say on top of it, that's two foot away. Yep. It's close to on top of it. Is it close enough, though? That's the question. I'd back Lee to draw this. It's half right. Might have it all right by the look of it. Looking pretty good to me, mate. Smack on it. What a great bowl. That's a class bowl. Applies the pressure straight back to Aaron straight away. That's good bowling. This is the way he's been playing most of the week. Okay, Aaron. Is to play the big one. Chance. Still a chance. Still a little chance. Right. Backhand draw. Well, mate, the way he played that last one, I'd stick to the forehand again because uh, he doesn't have to change too much. Yep, good idea. He played it absolutely superbly, so... Um, he believes in you. He heard you. <laughs> There's no point listening to me, Lee. <laughs> he heard you. He took his grass. But he played it so well, mate, that's what I'm saying. He's and he took his grass here. Yeah. And he always plays with great weight control as a rule. And he's going to hit the jack. No, he's not. And he's going to go oh. one down. Oh. He's pity he listened to you, eh? Well, it's no way must come back here. Eh? But he's played it so well. I mean, there's no I need know, to change. That was fine. There was no need to change, but he had to take... Well, he had yeah. to make sure he was out. Yeah, just a bit more grass. Must admit, it is turning a fair bit on that hand, though, isn't it? Coming back that way. He got good turn out of it. Yeah. We were looking before in I the first game, though, Jim, and you had to be... To the right hand side of that B. If we were playing back that way, that B there in. Um, in well, I think you're coming back underneath the clubhouse. Yeah. Where the wind often. Yes, it comes, does. Comes to the clubhouse and then back. Back, yes. To the other direction. If you're on the ocean, you could see the waves coming back at the, <laughs> at the wind. That's 100% correct, mate, yes. But uh, a little bit of a suck back up at the clubhouse end with the wind coming over the top, top. of the building and it's blowing pretty hard 
Yes, the old wind socks are moving a little bit down there in the flags, that's for sure. But you see that flag down there in the in the corner of the green. What a great start here from Lee. That's a great bowl. And there's a good uh, observation there from Hamish Beecroft. Said Leroy 65, Omar 30% first two bowls effective. And that's about that's about correct. Because Omar's going to be a little bit underdone grass line here also too. Perfect weight, beautiful weight. Just a little bit underdone grass line. If you've done your last on the favourite at Durban and it's got beat, you get a pie from Jacobs well on the way home. <laughs> no, you don't. You get a pie out of the van out the front of the Eagle Farm gate. Of course you do. And it burns your mouth because it's so hot. What another great bowl here by Lee. Yeah, uh, two very good bowls. Well, they're better than Omar's two. Yep. Because he's got one eight foot behind, back near the lip of the ditch. And he needs this to be in the head, which it is. Yes, yeah, he has played this well. Great bowl there even from touch Omar. It. Oh, if he got it on the nose, he'd have made two. Great try, great bowl. It is a great game, Terry, isn't it? Julie Donaldson watching from the Philippines. Yep. Alan Vidler hadn't put a comment on since I said something about him. Maybe he's doing some work. Any chance of that? Every chance. Yeah, good ball there, boy, Lee. Not too sure who's got shot. Neville might tell us. He's going to say two and a measure. Yep. Hang on. One. What colour though? Red. red. One colour red, so it's one to Lee. To Lee. Yep. Okay, Aaron. Trying to sit that bowl or looking for Kitty? He's close. Close to the bowl. Then he gets the gap if he misses it. Makes two. Very good bowl there from Aaron. Plonked it perfect. Yep. Okay, Leroy. You've got to play something. Otherwise, tightens up a little bit more. Well, he can play through either of these bowls here or even just find that port and sit those bowls. He's, he's only just got to draw between them. He's got plenty of opportunities there on the backhand. Well, he's got reasonable grass. He's only, yes, he's up. I like his weight too. He's up. He's just about drawn this. Just about drawn this. Just about drawn this. What a great bowl. Played that beautifully. Didn't hurt him, that little feather, but I think he had it without the feather. Yep. Great bowl there by Lee. Under a little bit of pressure too. Morrinsville, New Zealand. For okay. Logan's from Morrinsville. I got no idea where in New Zealand that is. I know up our way we have a Moronville. Do you? We have a lot of morons live at that place. <laughs> yes, yes. I was waiting for that reply. <laughs> it was a great bowl, Damien. Come on, is that in the middle of the line, Jenko? Get it across another half inch. Look at it. He's got it, mate. Sound level. Right, Lee, sticking to his forehand. Well, it's got to get back. No, remember the one he touched the kitty last time. Look at that. That's a beautiful starter by, by Lee. He's a metre shorter. He's in the green riding, where he was just past the green lot riding last time. 
Tell you what, it's not a bad reply here from Aaron, though. That's a shot. Yeah, great bowl, Aaron. <sighs> Is it the shot? Not too sure. Both both started well. Yes, that's for sure. Greta Workers Sports and Recreational Club for Glen Cliff. And Craig Cooligan watching in Harrington. Here he comes. He sits that one down or gets inside it. Inside it. Great bowl. Well, you'd say they're handling the grass almost perfectly. We played a we played a foot of weight at it. Yep. A metre of weight at it. Alan Vidler. I am always working. <laughs> you can get fined for saying things like that. Don't yell. Love your work, son. Yeah, he didn't get out. He had good weight on that, though, didn't he? Oh, no. Perfect weight. All right, Aaron gives Omar another rumble. And he is rumbling properly this time. Might only have the straighten up. Oh, we might even get that. Whoop, the hands are on his head. Yep. All right, Leroy. Lee's nine from going out. It's not getting near the end, but it's... The end is getting closer. Well, I think he just tried to uh, change that head slightly there and just pull up a bit short. Omar plays that little bit too quick and pops that out. He'd be two down for sure. He's got to play something like his last bowl, but he's not game to go out there too far with playing a rake. Mm. Well, it's wider than the last one. It's troublesome. It might pop his own out because he's got the bad pole, which he stayed for second. Yep. Not happy with it, but uh, need to be a little bit wider. Handy pick up there once again by Lee. He's putting him in there. Jeffrey Brown, high from Forbes, New South Wales. And Bakehouse pies are the best, mm -hmm. I guess he's going to say. Keith Rice from Lapland. <laughs> Jeffrey Brown. There must be a heap of Jeffrey Browns. Certainly would be. There was one from Nambour that beat Kirko in the singles one year. Jeff Brown, pretty handy little bowler. Actually went on the trip to New Zealand with the Malula Bar boys. Okay. Nice quiet trip where I managed to flat with Stephen Hibbert. Ah. We'd call that memorable. Memorable. So Lee has really lengthened this one out a bit, just about... Just about full length by the looks of it. Actually, flatting with Stephen Hibbert could get you at least one chapter in the book. book. <laughs> Probably two chapters on that trip. Oh, dear. Lovely starter by Lee. Just a little bit across the head, but uh, something easy to crack with his next bowl. Simon Geeta Johnson is here for the juniors. Thanks to... You blokes and the volunteers at Club Tweed. Thank you very much for those kind words. This is the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team. Next week the boys will be up in Mackay to showcase the multi-disabilities Queensland state titles. It's a bit of a worry about Leroy throwing this longer than he's been playing. 
what he's corrected This one here is looking pretty good, though. He's corrected here. What a great bowl by Lee. That's a great bowl. Yes, Omar's got it in his head that he's got something on his hands here. Yes. Beautifully grass bowl. Got a little shrug of the shoulders. Who have we got up there in the stands? Uh, I can see Jenny Lim and Mark Winter actually. I think he'd bring a schooner down here, even if it's only a schooner of water. Mm. Yeah, good boy, good bowl there, boy Lee. Just splitting those two. Yep. That's a great bowl. It's where he wanted to go. Yep. Didn't want to fatten the target. He almost wandered a few steps down and stopped, and he's not too sure whether it's there or not. And well, there's close, but it's just, as I said, it's about two foot over. Normally... As he leaves his hand, he knows whether he's going to sit that bowl, touch the kitty or whatever. Yep. He's letting them out of his hand and he's looking up to see what it's going to do, which is breaking his normal 100% confidence down to about 70% confidence. Right, Lee. He's got the track. Not up. Not quite. Beautiful track once again, though. Is it two? Neville will tell him. Maybe he's going to say one to measure. Come on. Very close. Still coming. Get just out not going. Close, just not close enough, that's all, but still very close. And the cap's coming off. Yep. Just the one, by the looks of it. Yep, one red. Good pick up there once again by Lee. Hey, Thomas, watching from Scotland. How are you, mate? And Christina's got to 15 in that ladies' game. Yeah, 17 15. Great fight back there. Um, uh, reminding me of our mate Georgie. Joe France, watching from Broadbeach after bowls this morning. Okay, Lee keeping it uh, around about medium length, short to medium. Kerry Vardy's gone for the Fernvale Pies. Some going, people travel miles for a pie, mate. You wouldn't want to be getting a taxi to go and check <laughs> out all these, where these pies are. No, that's for sure. Good starter there by Leroy. Nice little cloud sneaking in from the ocean. Mm. Don't know whether there's any rain in it. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'll tell you what, there could be a bit of rain in that one there, uh, Jim. It's yeah. darkened up a bit. Definitely has, yes. And this is almost exactly where he threw it four ends ago. Yes, sir. Inches, uh, inches past the green line. That is correct, Barbara. That is the one and only Jimmy C. Flop down. I'm who's glad you enjoyed your game too, Barbs. Who's doing that sledging? Barbara Green. Oh. Beautiful Nelson Bay. Nelson Bay has always been... A uh, oh, great bowl there from uh, Aaron. Biggest thing is, though, can he keep him, though? That's his biggest problem he's had so far with uh, Lee playing so well. Well, he's got... Halfway past. Yep. 
Here we're having a look at these little showers wrangling around the place. So right, we're down around Tweed, which is looking pretty clear at this stage. Co you, coming, what? coming, coming. What a great bowl by Lee. Aaron probably looking for a bit of a trail of the kitty here. Well, he's on hunting inside. Yep. Yeah, that's a bit rakey fired. That was a under pressure bowl. Yes, it was. A bit wasn't wobbly. It? A bit wobbly to play that shot. That's not. That wasn't in the book. He had to change his hand and get another one on the jack. As this one's going past, mm. going to stop that little half bake trial. Going to try and play it again, but well, it's there, isn't it? He's chasing shots, and there's a chance there to make make a multiple. It's a chance there to have given it away too. Yeah, well, that's and he true. Hits too. this one on the back side. Uh, it might be under. Might be under. Oh, oh, he wandered on the nose. Had it on the nose. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wandered <laughs> on the nose. Played a fabulous shot for two. Yep. Keeps him in. Yes, they do know each other's game, Barb, don't they? They play against each other plenty of times. And, uh, yeah, nah, look, they're... He's played it. They're two champion players, though, Barb's, aren't they? Like, that wasn't an easy shot. That was a very hard shot to play, mate. And he played it so well. And he got a little bit of reward by one more. Yes. Nearly the two more. No, it has been a very, it's been a quality game of bowls this bar, but the game this morning was an absolute cracker too between uh, Lindsay Clark and Dawn Heyman. If you get the opportunity to watch that uh, Barb's, you'd enjoy it. Watch that last bowl of Dawn's. Yes, and I'm, of course, so sorry for her with that she's bowl. She's one inch different, she wins the game. Yep. Played it, abs well, she could play it on both sides and, and lose three. The chances of a scoring two and going out were a lot higher than losing three. Couldn't agree more. She played so well. Uh, Lindsay's there playing the final. I was hanging over the balcony watching that one. Uh huh. No one pushed you. No, they were thinking of it. Yes. Until I wasn't behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't have been hanging <laughs> over the balcony <laughs> if you were behind me. Right, Lee. Got a nice line on this one here to drop under Aaron's bowl. He's under it, but how far does he go when he's under it? He's right to the kitty. And he's got to go a little. Yeah, Not great, much. Great starter. Yeah, he went eight inches. Getting dark with that cloud out yes. of the... Must be a cloud somewhere near the sun as well. Yep. Got it. Great bowl. Can't throw through the gap. <laughs> Great ball. Well played, Aaron. Uh, Brad, I'd hate to think, mate. I would really hate to think that, mate. It's, uh, you know, when you've got two quality players like this, it's, uh, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the game, mate, as far as I'm concerned. That's exactly what I'm doing. I think it's, uh, I'd hate to think how many titles are on this rink, mate. Yeah, we... I'll tell you what, not far away, once again, too, Lee. Just kind of pull up just a it has gone a bit. Across the head, yeah. His weight was pretty well spot on. It's gone a bit. Yep. Mm, well, going to have a look at that. We're going to claim Omar, no? Chenko's going to wander around and have a look at it anyway. Yep. Could be a bit wide with this one, Omar. It's just a little heavy. Now it is. Doesn't want to go much further than that or it's in the, it's in the sand. Does Lee chase that bowl of his now? Put a bit of pressure on Aaron. Could be holding three shots if he sits and stays. Well, I guess he's just drawing up to it. He doesn't have to hit it far. He only yeah. has to hit a roll and a half to make three. Yep. Ooh, he's playing a little tight. Put the other one up. Put it into the head. Ooh. Well, he nearly Ooh. got it that way. <laughs> I didn't see it that way, but he nearly got it that way. Omar doesn't want to go in the ditch with his next one. 
since he's only got one on the rink. Well, I think I may have realised that this bowl here needs a friend. It's very lonely sitting there by itself. Yes, definitely needs a friend. John Green. Hey, John. Hey, Greeny. Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. Okay, Aaron sticking to his forehand. I beat this uh, these two jack eye bowls. He's a bowl narrow, I think, which just about gets him on to his own. Well, he's just going to show Leroy what he should have done. Mm. Well, there's still only the one there, but it's more exposed on the backhand now than anything, though. And both those bowls of Aaron's, I reckon, will go. Mm, well. Is he prepared to take the risk, though? You're talking about him playing weight, obviously. Yes. Hey, well, that's great, Brad. Yeah, there'll be a few there, though, mate, as you said, though, Brad. What's that? He's been able, Brad, been able to claim three state titles with Leroy and one Australian title. That's, uh, that's just you, mate, so there's be a few between Aaron and uh, Leroy, that's for sure, mate. Hello, Mr Green. Katie's answering. John Green. And Barbara Green's on my, my screen. And Kerry Green was on before. And they're all out on the green. <laughs> they're all out in the green playing bowls. Well, Barbara has been. Here we go. He's just... Um can't ever run at this, is he? Well, he he could. He's got the opportunity of getting both there. No, he's just played. Oh well, we call it a run. Yeah. He's played weight, but he's played it out in the bush. Yep. So just the one there to Aaron. Games 2015 and 1814. The leaders have just hung on to that little. Half break, mini break. Well, they're both, both rinks because we're watching the women here as well as the men. But uh, we've been watching, I've been very fortunate to be able to watch both. And Lindsay's drawn three, three knockers. Oh no, that okay. one, that one's, Aaron. that one's eight inches away. Third shot. Third shot's eight inches away. Yeah, oh, she's, she's holding it. three. And I think Aaron's just dropped the kitty in the pit. One more time, which is very uncharacteristic of Aaron, isn't it? He doesn't bowl. He throws that kitty on the tee yep. time and time and time again. Uh, well, well, it was Leroy threw it in, did he? <laughs> oh, he's going to have another go. going to have another go. Uh, a bit of practice. Are uh, you dead right, mate? I was just watching that one. Christina whipped one of those touches off, the one that was eight inches away, third shot. She's still got one one inch and four inches. Good afternoon from Tun Curry from Glen Wendell. Cows Roads. Come on, Leroy. Keep it going. I agree, Brad. I think it is a quality field too, mate. I think it's uh, an incredible field that uh, Wayne's been able to put together this year. It's a credit to, uh, to Wayne and the Tweed Heads uh, Club. Come another foot. A good starter. It's pulled up a bit short there. Lindsay's drawing a third one. One to play from Christina as she lines up with a big backswing. Right. Lee. What's this he got? Very deep and meaningful, this one. And she only got one of them. 22-15. Yep. 20, Lindsay's within shooting distance. Right. Lee on his backhand. Hey, what is in the area? It's coming now. Yep. So, okay, easy to correct from there. He's a little short of where he normally throws it. Mm. It's another metre shorter than two metres from where he Omar Egging made his on. break. Yep. 
I think they're two good shots and they're not going to beat Leroy. Leroy will draw inside those two. Tim Twining, Phil Mean Gun Skipper. Could have come in out of the cold with this uh, one. I think he's a bit long once again, mate. mate. G'day, Wilksy. How's Bribey Island this afternoon, mate? Shouldn't you be mowing bowling greens, buddy? Okay, Aaron. Making three. Well, we're just saying it's easy to draw the shot like he's been playing. We look at it that way, it's easy to draw because there's room. But it's a bit different length than he's been playing. But here we come, he's done it. A great bowl by Leroy. You just, need, you just needed to have somebody that would allow you to bet on it. <laughs> Mate, it's as though I said... Tom, I Tom Waterhouse just bails up and doesn't let you back That's things nice. like that. It's like to say, well, i better do something here now. Great bowl by, uh, by Lee. Now, Aaron. Not far away, neither. Oh, what a great bowl. Only the one, but an absolutely a great bowl. Strangely enough, these blokes can play a bit. Oh, mate, just great to be able to sit here and watch it. Absolute pleasure. Well, don't want to get your own, Leroy. Just you're arriving and don't chip your second shot away because it'll be four. Well, Brad, I can tell you that Lindsay just drew the shot down on her rink. Well, you can tell the kids' mummy's going pretty good at this stage, Brad. <laughs> She's holding two and she needs three to win. Oh. Oh, it's probably one, two, Aaron here by the looks of things. Yep. Whoops. No. I think that uh, Christina drew the shot here. Yeah, Christina played a great bowl down there just to sit Lindsay out and it's holding one according to the marker, Gail Crompton. I'm sure Tony Crompton will be has been coaching Gail on her marking <laughs> her marking comments and whatever else. Yeah. Uh, He's a hard marker. Good old radar, wonderful lady. What a player. So Lindsay on the mat here at the moment, Brad. Jeez, I hope that jacks all the way behind that line, Neville. Chucky Vogler. Aren't you overseas somewhere, Chuck? He certainly is. Good starter here from Omar. She didn't get shot, Brad, so she is one down. And Omar throws ditch, ditch and draws it on. Three the difference. Yep. Tom Waterhouse will be shag staggering it with the money laid on Omar coming back and winning this game. Uh, it's a pleasure being able to bring it to you, uh, Gail, Gail Wallace. It has been quality bowls, though, hasn't it? And that's one reason why, <coughs> why got him. we do it. Got him. What a great bowl by Got Lee. him. Got him a little bit. Brilliant bowl. Absolute brand bowl there. They haven't played too many bad ones on the last few ends, have they? <laughs> no, it's been quality, mate. Yeah, he's not far off either. Got a good line here. He's got him. Or the jack. Or one down. <laughs> one down, yes. Didn't get <laughs> far enough. Nearly, nearly the only way he couldn't score. If he didn't get the inside edge, he probably had the kitty. But hey, that's bowls. Hands on the hip. Right, Lee. What's he going to do with his second one? Probably beats that bowl to the left-hand side. Draws a front knocker. It'd be pretty handy. Would, be, would even be better. He's uh, around it too. He's in the region. 
He's got a roll over Beethoven. Oh, just not quite his weight. Roll over Beethoven. Look at the line he had. Absolutely spot on. Omar didn't take much time to well, make his shot selection. He's tight, so he's playing at least a metre through. And... Not quite. Still one down. Well, I see um, Christina holding probably two shots out there. Yep. Probably holding just one now. Right, Lee looking to find this port here. He comes around this bowl and sits his back bowl, which he's going to do. What a great bowl, by got the way. It, got it. Perfect. Two great bowls. Stand back, Neville. No, you're standing on the green, Neville. You might get hurt. Marcus got to run up the green now when the drive comes down. Person Neville's age should just walk fast. There's no need to run. No, I don't think this one's going to be short. Scott Geimer watching from miles. Oh, oh. I don't think that was the right speed to play that shot. I think he was, should have been a flat. Oh, good move by uh, Lee coming down to have a look at this. He played a little swinger out, a swinger that didn't swing. That moves him to 20. He doesn't want to be anything silly. Hello. That's best part of four shots in the ladies' game at the moment, isn't it? That. Be holding two, two. Yeah, I can't see that blue ball. Yes, it's right behind probably the uh, scoreboard to send this hat to you, Jim. There's a f <laughs> okay. There's a four foot pot plant yep. and a twelve foot plant in my, my road. Yep. Okay, Lee. Looking to add to the count. Is he wide enough? I think he is. Comes down to his weight. He's not too far away. He's egging it on. Oh, gee whiz. Look at the line he had. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, but safe. He wasn't yep. going to roll that bowl. Two shots. Roger the Dodger. Roger Goodridge. Roger Goodridge. Mate, had about my 100th friend request from you today, Roger. I didn't realise how popular you were, mate, and how much you wanted to be my friend, when you're already my friend. How you going, Roger? Hope you're keeping well, buddy. OK, this is going to be a uh, very, very testing length It's from the T to the green. Green writing I'm talking about. Yes, yes. So it's just that exact length they played last time. What a great starter. Which from they've Lee got, they've got again. some idea what they're doing at that length. What a great bowl. Well played first up. Hello, we've got the wind blowing the ditches down. Uh, it depends where they do them, really, Brad. Not too sure they're going to do them on the green or where they're going to do them, mate. They've got Great no idea shot. at the stage. So. Great shot, Omar. Yeah, I can't see them. I think they've been taken off uh, view, uh, Barbara. What's that? Um, scammers again, Brian. Yeah, we had someone before, though, Barbs, which... Uh, I think Robbie took care of, I think. Here we go. Did yeah. you get to it? Not quite. What a great start of a head, though. Look at that. 
quality play. How do you room for Omar to draw second shot? It is great bowls. Uh, Ten inches, that bowls away, it appears to be. You've got to look at the shadows to see that it's that far away. Yeah, just a bit quick there with that one, Aaron. Oh, I think that was part of his plan. Yep. He has got his arms folded, wandering around, shaking his head, but... Well, normally when you chuck them too well, that's where they go. Mm. He was me thinking he might have wanted to play it there, but <laughs> I don't think so from his body language. Right. What's Lee got this one? Is he onto Aaron's bowl? He's just got to crack an He's egg only on got it. To knock it down. Which he's about to do. <laughs> and probably picked up shot out of it. Yes, he got shot out of it. What a great bowl by Lee. That was played with incredible weight. Like, he, he played for that. Yeah. That's what you call crack an egg on it. That's, that's yes. That's, I don't know that he broke the egg, but he... He cracked an egg on it. He chipped an egg. Yep. Oh, Omar, you're asking a bit. Come up here and have a look at it. It won't look any prettier than it does down the other end. Oh, fair enough, Barbs. Yes, ever so true, Barbs. Yeah, scammers everywhere at the moment, Barbs, that's for sure. I just can't get over what they get out of trying to trace people to play lawn bowls. It's got me beat, Barbs. I really can't. But anyway, some people have uh, very immature minds. Oh, Roger the Dodger, great bike. So why would you want to uh, clone him? By all means, clone him if we get another one of him. Yeah, it was a great shot by Leroy. Well, now Omar's had a look at this. He might change his hand. Yes, he might play backhand to it. We well, can't see the exact angle of that jack. Well, you can up the top left-hand side of the screen there. You can the see The ball it. must be sticking out a there bit, it is there. bit more on the forehand than it is on the backhand. Yep. <laughs> Good on your barbs. Mark Jones, it looks good from Barley. Good on you, mate. He's going to have to play backhand. It appears backhand shot. Yep. And he appears to have played it pretty well. well. Depends how quick that is. Got it. Great ball. Could have made a few out of that one in actual fact. Uh, See, he faked with his third bowl playing on the <laughs> forehand. <laughs> yes. Where in actual fact, Leroy should have been covering this side of the green. Yeah. I think he's going to put a tape on this, uh, Lee. Had to play a squealer to get do it. He's going for two. Yep. It was a great bowl there by uh, by Aaron. Oh, well, it, it was great bowls from both of them. Both of them in actual fact. There he is again. Just had to clear that ball, and he just did. Like uh, Leroy clapping two shots. there. Yeah, two shots. Leroy clapped it. Oh, mate, like these two blokes, I said they play each other, with each other. I they guess play, Omar you know. probably clapped when he cracked that egg. He didn't yeah. he chipped that egg. Yeah. He didn't crack it. Well, that's true. Okay, Omar. Yeah, two shots to uh, to Aaron. And we see uh, Lindsay now 23-18 to Christina Brad. <laughs> okay. We, we didn't throw this one in the ditch, but we threw it four inches short. Yes. Great roll. Tim Twining says shot Omar. Definitely was Tim, wasn't it, mate? Michelle, oh, great shot. Certainly was. Okay, Omar, first bowl. Can you apply the pressure? He's not going to be too far away. A bowl across. Half a bowl across. Half a bowl. Yep. Can't quite see down there. Can you see through those two TVs? Two red. Two red. Gail must have heard me. She had stood up two paddles. Here comes a shot. Good looking. 
track here by Lee. Not going to be too far away. Chalk. No, it's not chalk. It pulled up. Yep. Probably shot. One blue, I'd say. Lindsay's drawn the shot. I see the score. Neville likes to know what's going on at the head, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, yes. He definitely does. <laughs> he doesn't want to be left out of the swim here. Yes, yeah, good bowl there. Good reply there from Aaron. Change his hand. Get, draws within a foot. He's not going to be far away with this one. He's got the run. What a great bowl by Lee. That's a great bowl. Aaron will have to change his hand here, go on to the forehand. How quick does he play? Does he play enough weight to come off the fourth shot and come across the head? Yes, he's going to give that one a chance. Yep. He likes it. He's got to get the inside of this, and he gets them both. Like that. Like that. Geez, that's a great bowl, mate. Never looked like missing, really. Mate, that's, that, that's just a class bowl. Well, that's what he was yeah, playing. That's he what could, he was playing. He as, could see the shot. Yeah, that was just an incredible bowl by, uh, by Aaron. Played with incredible weight, too. Well, he's played one drive that didn't hit anything yep. and hit the ditch. You can see the black dot on it. It yes. didn't have that on at the start of the game. Yeah, Phil. How are you going, Phil? Um, mate, two champion players, aren't they? So that, that was a hot shot. That was a hot shot to play off the fourth shot. Yeah. And it was deliberate. Now, yeah, I'll tell you what. He's not going to be too far away. He's going to he, pat it. He's not going to be too far away at all. What a great ball. <laughs> yeah, OK. This, this might go on the highlights r realm, Robbie. <laughs> That really was a, a great bowl by Leroy. Just uh, just didn't move it enough. <laughs> now, what does he play here? Because if he plays weight up on the backhand, hits one of his own on the Re Leroy's bowl, he can pop his own out. That's one to Lindsay Clark there. So it's now 24-18. There, Brad, trying to keep you updated, mate, you and the kids. <laughs> it's got to get to the... Oh, he hasn't got enough weight. He's thinking of getting to that bowl. Yep. Well, Leroy, what does he play? Oh, he hasn't got anything to lose, but he smoke his cough. He's got two second shots. Yep. And the kitty in the ditch is one. He doesn't have to hit it very hard. Kitty in the ditch is two. We've had an incredible uh, week of bowls here at Club Tweed. And uh, big call out to all the sponsors there. Of course, BCIB, J. Carroll Club Promotions, Aero Bowls, Great Northern Brewing Company, and, of course, Club Tweed. Well, there's a bit of pressure here. But he hasn't got much to lose. He's got plenty to win by trailing that kitty yes. as far as the ditch. He's going for the kitty. He's got one of Omar's bowls, but he could score he can, with it. He can get this. Oh, not quite. You could see he was trying to take that bowl out. Under that bowl, the ricochet was on. Omar's bowl was gone. Well, anything anything up the front could have worked. Yep. He just he missed it by a bit because he was really looking for Jack. Yeah, it's a great game, Tim. It really is, mate. 2018. Yes, anyone's game. Um, Lindsay holding shot down there, but I can guarantee you, Brad, that uh, it is not going to end up shot at the end of the uh, end. I okay, Omar, looks though he's going uh, long again. Guarantee you that this will be going on the six-foot line. Yes, what looks of that? We haven't looked to see whether it's going in. It's in. How no, many times has he thrown it in now? Four? Four <laughs> at least four times he's dropped it. That is very unusual. 
It is great bowls, uh, Gail, that's for sure. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Right, oh, where do we throw this? Right on the green line there. Two foot in front of the green line. Anyone's game. Nearly to the green line. Well, it's close to the green line as we're going to call Let's it. See. Lindsay has drawn the shot. With uh, Christina, with two bowls to play. Mm. Omar, not going to be far away with this one. Just going to sneak a around the back. No, it's Jack High. No, oh, it is Jack High, yep. No, it's a good starter. <laughs> he suck it again, Stephen. He certainly did. Right, Christina's had a drive and she's missed. So at this stage, Lindsay holding game with one bowl to play for Lindsay and one more from Christina. What a great performance it's been from Christina and Lindsay, though. Here comes Leroy. He's got to come around it. He's not going to oh. be too far away. He's just going to crash into it. A bit unlucky with that one. Ooh. Didn't do any harm. No. He's forced Omar to the other side. Yep. Jim Barkley watching from Scotland. And he walks sideways. Like that's how a lot of the Kiwi players do. When they want it to draw in, they get out. Yes. They get out on the other side of the green. I can tell them no matter where you walk, it doesn't help. It doesn't make much difference, does it? And then she's gone around the back with that bowl. She's holding two in actual fact, so that other bowl must be second shot. So last bowl here. She's got to hit the kitty or draw it because taking the bowl out doesn't work. No. Right. Christina. Last bowl, last shot of the dice. Leroy just sneaking around the back. Lindsay Clark is the Golden Nugget Ladies Championship winner. There you are, Brad. You and the kids can start celebrating, mate. Here comes Omar. He's just about drawn this. Oh, he mightn't be there. I'm well, just going to pull across the head there, mate. He mightn't be up. 25-18, and congratulations to both girls. Absolute credit to the both of you. Right, Leroy, only the one he, down. He fancies himself to draw around the first one and onto his own. Well, mate, it's on the run. All it needs is a promotion. I tell really you only need sitting down, but he's got to get past the blocker. He doesn't want to roll at once. Well, oh. Neville, Neville's gone for his pocket. <laughs> nearly got a result out of that. <laughs> yeah, Neville's just uh, put the one blue up, so it's one to Omar. What a game. Well. Well, Christina and um, Cody are catching the 10 to 5 plane home, and it's now 20 to 4. So, so is it in Brisbane or is it Gold Coast? Oh, I think it'll have to be Gold Coast. Mate, is he up? Oh. Neville's going to have a look. Yes. Yeah, it's been a fantastic week of uh, bowls, and It's been an absolute pleasure being here. And I, uh, Leroy's going to have a look. Yeah, I don't blame him. Again, it's a big thank you to the uh, to Wayne Turley and the board of Tweed Heads allowing us to showcase this wonderful game. Uh, He's had a good look. Well, let me suggest that Neville thinks it's close because he's gripping the measure in his hand, <laughs> yes. waiting for this bowl to be played and then hand the measure over to them. It does look like that. No, I guess a that's a measure he's got. No, it's a it's chalk spray. Chalk spray. Uh, I think he's anticipating Lee to play a resting touch of Alex. But there's no need to because it's his last bowl, Neville. So I save your chalk, son. I think he's anticipating you coming out and playing a shot for a toucher. Well... That one's gone. Where does the jack go? Out of bounds. He was right to have the touch of spray in his hand. Yep. 
But being the last bowl, there was no need. Where is Cupcake? On your hands. Uh, Cupcake had a family appointment today, my friend. Got on your hands. Well, when Dawn played that unfortunate shot yep. to go one down to three down and finish that game off, Mark Winter beside me said that might have cost her $5,000. Is that right? And maybe it has cost Dawn $5,000. Hello, here's Mum. Mum's excited. What a great starter here from Aaron once again. Oh, well, I suppose the last time Lindsay won this event, she was called Armitage, didn't she? She's in the book as Armitage well, when she won it last time. I think she would be too, in actual fact, Jim. Um, I'm sure, back then. Mum Armitage is the first person to congratulate her. 2006. 2006, Lindsay Armitage. Lindsay Armitage. There you go. Wasn't far out. No, you're dead right, mate. There's some great names in that book, mate, I'm telling you. Good try there from Lee. Just shooting across the head. Yeah, I love the books that have the runners-up in them, especially the state titles should have more runners-up in them. I get mentioned a lot more times than winners. Well, I like this one in 2020 and 2021 where it says not played and runner-up was COVID. Yeah, well, he, he did a lot of damage to the head. <laughs> he definitely did, didn't he? Omar's put one behind. Some great names in that book, my friend. Only because he threw the jack a metre short. Wasn't game to throw it in the ditch again. Yep. OK. So, Omar, holding one. We've Lee got a good... Oh, you know he's feeling a bit feet. of crunch when he can't throw that jack on the, on he the wants tee to. every yeah. time. Because he's played some games where he hasn't thrown it more than six inches off oh, the tee. Yeah, uh, and that's obviously Every true. throw. That's ever so true. Pretty handy. Not too far If he away. gets it, he had to touch it. Oh, just around the back. Trevor Gillis. More straight runner-up mentions, yeah. Little short names are easy to put in the runners-up yes. book, too. Well, you don't want Dale uh, Shillington's. <laughs> McQuinney, Shillington, Smith and uh, Big quite trip with you Isaac that is the score so Lee just running around the back so Aaron holding two shots here well for Leroy this is probably a, a failing end yep. he hasn't drawn one right on the jack in three goes yep Omar's played his bowl that's got the black dot on it. He's going to sneak around the back with that one there by the looks of it. Right, a bit of a pressure bowl on here for uh, Lee. He's, He's saying two or three. Yep. What does Janko say? He's not going to tell him. Oh, he must have said something. Couldn't see his lips move. Not that old story. Yeah. The kids are cheering. Of course they are. OK. Good on you, Brad. Just about, we say here. How far past is he? Enough. Well, he's let Omar in there a little bit, um, really. So what's... We're going to have a look. He's going to just take two, or is he going to wait for Leroy to come down to measure it? Oh, two. He'll take two bullets with it. Two. Yep. Call it 20 all. 20 all. Vision. 2020 vision. Yep. A little bit darkish around the ridges. It is hasn't, hasn't looked like rain, but there's a few clouds in the west where the 
Hope Sun's it, basically underneath them. Hope it hangs off, mate, because we've got one heck of a pack down to do tonight. i got to take a car back to the joint. That shouldn't take too long. No. Yes, Barbary does handle pressure very well, doesn't he? Well, they're two champions, these two blokes. As was the final of the ladies, there's two Did champion bowlers it? out there. What a great bowl. Did he get them. chalk? Not quite. Just two champion players out there, Barbs. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I thought you'd be uh, happy, uh, Mary, that Aaron's fought back one of your favourites, as you've always said. Travelling close. Lee's not too far away from this. He's what, got it. He's what, got something. What a reply. What a reply. That's a great bowl. That's out of touch. Mike, I might draw two inches behind and you draw it two inches off him. <laughs> There's every chance of him drawing two inches again because he's on a tight line by a bowl, so he's got something. He's got the jack. <laughs> oh, dear. My God, how could you afford the chalk to play this game? Yeah. Yeah. Janko, Janko's got a call for another spray. Spray bottle. <laughs> Should have given him a whole litre of hide loss enamel, mate. He'd no, have to spray him so often. No, he'd have drunk it if you'd have given him that. <laughs> uh, he's a great bloke, Deb. OK, Lee likes to look at this. He's watching it all the way. He's passed. How far? Far enough to be shot. Far enough to be shot and falls over. Great bowl there by Lee. Superb bowling. You got that right, girl. Absolute superb bowling. No, Mo wouldn't be waddling up after this one if he didn't like it too. And it's close. Or is he the same? Bit oh, quick. He's Bit quick. His bowls get a little bit more run. Yep. So Lee got a good Went three in the foot. Ditch. Yep. A good three foot to uh, draw another one here, Lee. This could be a very telling end. Well, it is a telling end because it's 20 all. One of them's going to get within shooting distance. That's 100% correct, mate. Right. Yes, Tony, have to think two and three. Oh, what happened? Eclipse. Yeah. Full moon the other night, now an eclipse. Doesn't want to hit that up. No. Just like this. Great ball. Two shots. Well played. Yeah, someone sat near the joiner down there. I reckon you're dead right, Robbie. Paul Williams, this is the best game I have ever seen on grass. G'day, Paul. Righto, a bit of pressure on. OK. Because Leroy could easily draw a third shot after the two he's played. He's out there. He's got the grass. Has he got the stop? Don't think so. I think he's got too much weight. How much? Oh. How much weight? Just enough to draw a shot. He had too much weight. <laughs> he was had too much weight. He was a foot over. I'm all with you. Yes. Yeah, dead set, Hamish. And that's been the difference in the last 10 ends, isn't it? Aaron was 30%, now 55%. And Leroy, or Lee, six, six from 65 to 70%. What a game. That, and that's why the game's so great. Absolutely incredible game. That one really did pull up where the other one just kept running through the head. I was just watching where it was travelling, where it hit this little bit of a thin area over here. Yeah, well, Leroy's close too. He's very close, mate. He's got the jack. No, he hasn't. He's got the jack. jack. <laughs> what a ball. <laughs> He's got the, there's a song that goes like that. <laughs> but, yeah. He's got the jack. Mel, you're pretty close to get a better game than that game this morning. I'll tell you that right now. I agree. It was, um, yeah, it's just an incredible, just an incredible exhibition of of bowls, really, Mel, isn't it? It's an absolute credit to uh, I think Neville be able might to bring be, it to you. Neville might be learning something and might improve <laughs> his game on Saturday. Uh, he still goes all right, young Neville. Okay. 
Lee's going back to uh, minimum length. Well, he hasn't won one going that way for a while. Mm. He's been he's been what throwing the jack to the green line the yes. other way. Yeah. But that's the length he's playing. Uh. Well, we're going to do a presentation on the green while the other game's on because they've got to get on a plane. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Swinging low. How far? What a great starter. 18 inches, maybe. The black, the black dot one's going to have a bit of spray on it. It's not going to be too far away. Oh, it should hit the kitty, no. And it's got a good 15 inches away. Do you get paid overtime, Brian? No, mate, we're going to turn everything off in a minute. <laughs> Oh, uh, mate, we get paid nothing, you know that. I love the way people complain about this and that, and we, get, we do it because we love the game, mate. Fantastic. That's what would happen if we didn't do it. Mark it and stand clear. Yes. <laughs> Mark uh, blue touch paper and stand CP. clear. It used to have on the that's crackers, a didn't that's it? That's a great bowl by Lee. On the fireworks. Really yes. making Aaron play the best of his ability, Jim. Mm, he scruffed it along the ground. Yep. He didn't get it as sweet as he yeah. normally plays them. Has been busy, uh, Barb, that's for sure. I said the boys, well, tomorrow I'm off to two meetings tomorrow. One to do with World Champion Champion Singles, another one with Bowls Australia for live streaming. And uh, and the boys are off to, I know I've got to watch the semi-final of the Champion Champion Singles at Rabina Bowls Club. And then, uh, Both so semis on? No, just one semi just tomorrow. Nick. Nick playing Bruce Robinson from Bow Desert. And, um, wow, the deliberate little shot there. Yeah, very well played there by by uh, by Lee. What are we playing now? Jeez, that looks like a backhand shot. He's played it well. If he clears that front one, he's if... Not, he's not going to clear. Well, he cleared it. He cleared it out of the road. Then on Sunday, the boys travel to Mackay for the week. Unfortunately, I can't make it to Mackay. I've got too many duties down here with everything happening on the Gold Coast in the next uh, few weeks. Got a heap of work down here to do. He must draw a four, so he <laughs> holds game here. He Good can't night. go for another blocker. He's got to try and draw a fourth shot. How you going, Joe? You reckon we should go to 31 up, mate? It's a good game, isn't it, Joe? <laughs> Just this game. Does he draw a fourth shot? Pretty close. Righto, that's game. That's game. Loza, Larry Mullen, Stanthorpe. Wouldn't be cold there. No. Oh, Joe there. Right, Aaron. He's missed it. Not yet. Oh, we do da. Now, is it three or four? Oh. Three. Three. Well, he will be a bit unhappy about not going up another two inches. <laughs> he was pretty close to fourth shot there, mate. Yeah, it's a crack of a game, uh, Joe, that's for sure, mate. Had to draw the fourth one in case he missed like that. Yep. Didn't get his forehand runner away properly. Just speared it a little. He's done that a few times today, was really. It, um, the bowl Jim, wide. hasn't he? Pressure is a wonderful thing. Yes. Can bugger up your taps. <laughs> Ever so true. Now, Lee keeping it short once again. I'll be on the green line thereabouts, or just past. Daniel Noonan says, sink it, Leroy. Just past that green line. Yep. Draw three or four touches. He That's doesn't have to doing. sink it because he's been playing too well on the draw. Absolutely fantastic to watch. Mm. 
close. Very close. No need. Oh, just going to pull up. Somebody must be saying this is a good game to watch with, I didn't look, 2,100 watches. I better be careful what I say. <laughs> no, it's been a crack of a game, mate. I see why they're enjoying it so Here much. Here he comes. Not far away. He's got to come another roll yet. Not a bad starter. They've both failed in comparison to the last couple ends they've played coming this way. Yep. Oh, true, mate. Some of the uh, some of the ends have been absolutely superb, haven't they? But this bike here has been so cool, calm, and collective. He really has not changed from the opening bowl to this bowl. Close-ish. Very close. Might hit the kitty. Uh, what a great bowl by Lee. He didn't hit it very hard. No, and there goes some more paint, mate. Look how much more paint is in that tube. He didn't hit it very hard, and he's on 24. Better tell Omar that he's on 24 and yep. he's got a rester. Here he comes. Can he get the jack clean? Oh, he's a bowl under. <laughs> what a great try. What a great try by Omar. <laughs> Yeah, at this stage of the game, mate, you're more than welcome to walk to the head, buddy. <laughs> I would think you need to put one round the back, 15 foot behind and out near the yep. peg, so you catch yeah. the kitty, because it's probably going to go dead on that angle from the middle of the green. Put it out near the sideline and straighten it back into the ditch. Ditch. Yep. Good day, Leslie and Fred Silver. Hope you're going well. This has been a crack of a game, really, uh, really, Leslie. It really has been a crack of a game. Not too sure, but you're probably both watching anyway. I hope you're keeping well. Right. What's he play? Exactly what Jimmy said. He's going round the back, mate. On that side of the line. Yep. So he can catch the. So he can catch it if it's going dead out there, and straighten it into the ditch. That is a good call. Oh, it might be going wider than that bowl. It might have to be a foot wider. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Graham. Like, I mean, um, you very rarely see much emotion from, from Aaron. He's such a great player. But today he's just been a little bit... Uh, Fire one. Just a little oh, bit fidgety. he's only going to just arrive, eh? Ooh. Trying to stick it out in the open so we can have a bit of dig it. He's underdone. Ooh. He had to go quicker than that. Ooh. He's not going to be happy with that. No. That's a hard shot playing yep. three foot of weight and hoping it's going to go somewhere. Yep. That'd be a hard one to uh, to get shot out of it. I suppose it could be in his head how he missed last end. Yep. Doesn't miss very often. No, very rare. But uh, Lee has just been... As I said, oh, he'll hit this. He'll hit this. Kill it. and We'll have a bit more ball. We have a blocker about six foot short. No, he's going, no, he's back going again. again, mate. Going back again. Well, he's that's going wider this time to catch the kitty. He's doing what I normally do if it's going to make it the last end. Put your bowl as close to your bowl's bag as you possibly can. And he's out there to catch the kitty. <laughs> I'm telling you, he is too. No, that's a pretty good bowl there, mate. No, mate, i got to go for the kill. Missed it. Missed it. Thanks yep. for coming. Lee Schreiner. Pressure. The Golden Nugget champion for 2023. Pressure is a marvellous thing. What a game of bowls. Congratulations, Lee, and congratulations, Aaron, on an incredible game of bowls, the pair you, of you. You won't see Omar miss three drives like that very often. No. And he wouldn't miss them except the pressure of that final was... Excruciating. How's that for a word? I've been reading dictionaries. You lately. have been. No, you have been, Jim. It's uh, amazing. So, mate, what a what an incredible game of bowls. Though. Like two incredible games of bowls today. The ladies' final this morning, absolutely extraordinary. And that game there. Well, what can one say about it? You don't have to say anything about it. That really is there. It's no. just uh, everybody that watched it knows as much as we know about it. Greg yep. Carl's the bloke. He tipped me. Get yes. as much money on Leroy at the start of this tournament when I turned up Monday morning. 
and he immediately lost that game. Yep. And I said, you idiot. <laughs> well, we will do the... We will do the uh, presentation if we can, depending on where they're going to go to. But uh, I got guarantee you there'll be a heap of people standing in the way, <laughs> as always happens. But we will do the presentation so the viewers can hear from... Uh, there it is. There it is. There's the the chairman there. Uh, Get him off the green with those heels on. <laughs> Lee Tyman uh, has been the chairman here Where's for a few green? years. Where's the green keeper? <laughs> Uh, Lee's been the chairman here for a few years and uh, really has done a superb job here. And, of course, everybody knows Wayne. Done a uh, fantastic job here picking up the club, which he really has done. I wonder how many years he has been. Three or four years, Lee? Lee, I think more like, uh, probably around more like four years, I reckon. Yep. Oh, they have pretty good staff here. Oh, well, excellent bowls. Have a look at the building they got. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. You've got to have some staff to go with a building like that. Absolutely, mate. And, of course, thanks to the sponsors, which is Club T Tweed, J. Carroll Club Promotions, Cotton United Brewery, Treasury Wines, Aero Bowls, BCIB and Coca-Cola through their generous support. And uh, that's high. That's high. As ha. No freezing today, it says here. No, for some reason this afternoon, it's been absolutely perfect. We had one or two this morning. Yeah, um, I it, saw one or two this morning when I was It's nothing to do with us, it's all to do with the internet, I can tell you that right now. And everybody tells me down here the internet's been pretty poor down here the last few months, so I've led to believe by a lot of the members... I've been struggling a little bit with my internet here because of the floors above us and yeah. so much cement yeah. trying to get through. Yeah. Well, that's one reason why we put um, put the disc up to try and uh, get away from uh, the problem we can have. Also, too, see, like quite realistically, which is true, we normally set up over there, just there. Yeah. Like four metres away and we never have a problem. And this time they put us here, and we have had a bit of a, a problem. Yet when we set up over there, just right in that gap there, well, we never, ever, ever have a problem. When you swing around, there's a few buildings, six stories, eight stories, stories yes, whatever, around the place, and maybe you yep. just got on the wrong angle some, somewhere from the yeah. tower. Yeah, well, see, because of the corporate boxes there, they wanted that for corporate, so they moved us over here, which I reckon could have a little bit to do with a great game it was a great game tommy cummins g'day tom i think you better get ready for a bit of commentary when it comes up to uh middle of november for the mixed pairs we need a bit of uh <laughs> the drollness of the cummings jokes and uh the expert knowledge that you have be great to catch up with you tom there was a says autocorrect it uh, does it all the time mate i'm telling you but what an incredible an incredible uh four days of bowls we've had here it's been absolutely uh first class hasn't it so uh wayne's on the uh podium now yes the two Runners up. Can't be that disappointed in their way they played. No. Omar might be, but he's won so many things by being able to pull those last couple out. Yep. One of the, one of the times you've got to miss. Everybody, well, as somebody put on, he is human. He
Yeah, mm. uh, Brad, not only she got the trophy, mate, she's got the check too, buddy. be just showering out there too by the looks of it. Just see a little bit of rain there on the screen. See Lee's. Great win by Lee.
<laughs> oh, well played. Well, there you go, Jim. What a uh, wonderful event it's been. Four days of absolute first-class bowls. Well, we had 2,200 people watching and we've had over 500 hang on for the presentation. presentation yes. So, so they're still in a state of shock. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd have gone to the fridge or... Made uh, just first-class bowls. Two absolute champions out there. Four great competitors. Started the week with just a heap of champions from... Uh, all over Australia, and these two have been crowned the uh, the w champions for 2023. So what an absolutely incredible uh, four days of bowls we've had, mate. It's been a pleasure having you on board, and I'd like to thank all of the guest commentators we've had in uh, Emma, of course, and of course uh, Emma Boyd, of course, I'm talking about, as well as Dale McWinnie and my old mate there, Brucey Kirk, who uh, had other commitments today. But thank you very much for joining uh this afternoon, Jim. It's been an uh, absolute fantastic showcasing an incredible game of bowls here as we've witnessed this afternoon. You better throw a Kiwi in as well, not just Australia. We're a bit, bit anzac -y. We We had a Kiwi. Who's look that? at Robbie. Look at Robbie shaking his head over there. Who, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Robbie Allen. Oh, okay, mate. Who's he? <laughs> uh, Robbie always does a great job, mate. Him and I are pretty good mates, so we always have a bit of a dig at each other. We didn't have any Kiwi ladies, but we had a Kiwi rep in the men's. We did, mate, and uh, it's been an absolute gem of a... We had a Kiwi. Four days. Oh, I don't count Kate Caitlin Lynch. as a Kiwi anymore. <laughs> Oh, he's not a Queenslander. Like, we, we, we haven't owned up to him yet. It's a bit hard to claim Caitlin, I suppose, <laughs> seeing as she plays all the world games for New Zealand. Yeah. Now, with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got to pack up. We've got quite a, a big job in front of us. Yes, yeah, so so I've got a big job in front of me. I have to get the car back to where we're staying Tony. so I can have a beer with you, Brian. Well, that's it, mate. And uh, only for two hours, mate. They've got $5 schooners in there. What a great idea by the border bowls uh i gotta try and gold figure coast. out if i can swallow those black fish but gold coast tweed five well gold coast the gold coast tweed club tweed of course five dollar schooners down here this afternoon so in the uh bar downstairs absolute wonderful establishment there we are up there behind that black plastic and uh that was a good looking head there we've been hiding up there <laughs> there's a head of uh great head for radio there Jimmy C. Right that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, and we'll catch up sometime. Bye well, now. We'll do it with that, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Gold Coast Swedish Media Team, we thank Jim very much, and we thank you for the patronage for the last four days. Uh, we'll be back on Monday from Mackay. I won't be. I'm staying down here. I've got too much work to do prior to the uh, all of the events coming up on the Gold Coast. So all we can say, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you very much.